You ready for some more puzzles? I hope so, because that's what we're in store for. Some puzzles. How you doing? Whoa. Uh, happy Friday night, everybody. Hope you're doing good. I can't start my day without some puzzles. My alarm clock won't stop until I solve a puzzle to prove I'm awake. So, Friday night. Hello. Welcome. Um, welcome, welcome. I just, uh, yeah. Someone in chat just mentioned that uh, apparently the the muted audio from Twitch is also muted on YouTube, uh, which I didn't know. I mean, I didn't check, so I guess. Hey, thank you. Uh, shame on me. But I exported it before it got muted on Twitch. I guess it was already muted, and I just missed it. So uh, I'll add timestamps to that part one vod, but there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately, because um, uh, the 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 claim on Twitch is. Uh, Japanese characters, but when I dropped them into Google, it brought up the latent soundtrack. So I think it is a legitimate claim just for that one song. And then I did a local recording of yesterday's stream as a backup in case that one got muted off Twitch because we were going through a lot of the same places, the same music, didn't get muted. So copyright, it's great. Anyway, uh, so sorry about that. Hopefully nothing of value was lost. <laughs> it's just a couple weird chunks of muted, but uh, unfortunately, the game obviously is text-based, so anything that happened there, people can scrub through and see, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get back to this. We have some eggs to find. We have two out of five eggs, so we're gonna get three some, some three eggs today. I hope that sounds good to you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, it's fine there. Um, three egg. Three. 
Three yeah, eggs. Jeez. Your fellow deacon crew would like to know what you'll be firing. It fires in space. Here is the donkey farm. The table doesn't stand a chance when you'll be riding Randy. It fires in spurts. Coconut it fires in spurts. Coconut it fires in spurts. Here, yeah, Mr. Donkey Kong. It fires in spurts. A bunch of anger and your master. But I'm trying to. Thank you for the hammy. How you doing? Appreciate it. Um, let me get caught up on all that so we can dive back into the wonderful world of puzzles. Thank you. Prayer, Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's anything else for me to ramble about. Let's get into it. Um, um in between streams, Tech Chemist resub for their 61st month. That is a lot of months. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, Super Thingy Mabob, thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Didn't realize you were lightning again till third stream. I'm only halfway through the first VOD. No worries. I will do a very, very brief recap. Um, but if you want to go watch the VOD, appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the VOD. It's a lot of years. Uh, Mr. Teriyaki, thank you for 62 months. Thank you. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Tornado Owl, thanks for the prime. Shit. Why does this OST go so hard? Uh, puzzles. Uh, thank you. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key. And thank you for the prime. Hope you have a good weekend and such. Caddy Sean, thanks for gifting a sub to Zurugus for their 13th month. Thank you very much. And unnamed trans girl. Thank you for the hammy. What's up? From Vodland. Still in the first latent VOD, I already watched Barry crash and burn a Zeppelin several times while solving a puzzle. Don't worry about it. Anyway, have fun. Hey, me in the future, don't forget to schedule that blood work appointment. Get it done. Thank you. Very kind. Uh, completely forgot about them until I found your streams. Thanks for nostalgia. You got it, Tornado. Thanks for the prime. And thanks for enjoying the VODs and such. Yeah, it's um, it's been very strange to revisit these games. Because I certainly never thought I'd replay them. And man, they are they are doozies. <laughs> uh, I, this is strange. Anyway, I, I, I'm just... I, I can't believe we're getting a new one still. It, it, it's, it's like... I don't know. If they had announced, hey, there's a new latent game coming out. I don't know if I would have sat down and gone, okay, guys, I'm going to stream all six latent games to get caught up. It's like completely circumstance. That I was like, eh, let's do the first latent game. See how it goes. And people people were into it. So here we are. This is your fault, chat. Anyway, I manifested it. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if anything, it's nice to have someone other than Todd be a gaming Nostradamus. Because um, I still don't know how Todd managed to... Uh, Metroid Prime, uh, we love Katamari, uh, Jet Set Radio. Uh, he just he keeps doing it. <laughs> he keeps doing it. He keeps predicting re-releases and remasters and stuff. Um, hey, hey. So, um, welcome back. Um, we uh, 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 what happened? So, uh, in part one, we found a girl encased in ice, Tetris her out. She's like, you need to find five egg. If you, if you. Get five egg, I will teach you what the Azran legacy is, or something. You'll, you'll unlock the secrets of the universe. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, so we've gotten two egg. And we need to go get three egg. What is Tellius? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's thanks to me. A conduit for the gods. Add Phantom Thief, yeah. <laughs> Add Rhythm Heaven. Add Rhythm Heaven to the, to the schedule. Uh, so, uh, let's get back into it. Because they already did that, Rain. Not to do it twice. India, hope you're doing well. Can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, uh, can I please see that emote again, India? I know I, I'm sub, so I could have it too. I just I, I want to see it again. There, Ons has got it. There it is. It's like the Ike Fire Emotes. Oh. Oh. It, oh. Oh. Continue to like something, but oh god, he looks. Okay, let's take a quick look, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go be bad at puzzles, as is my goddamn right, as a Twitch streamer. Over here, there. Dog, make that team. I could make a team. You only get to make one India. So if we do it for this, if we do it for this, this is the one. Oh, I don't like that. They only get to make one. If I want to make one for people who have beepos, and then I want to make another one for just like scrungling. <laughs> Call it well. bee pals. <laughs> Call the team Barry made this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> that shouldn't tickle me as much as it does. <laughs> I made this. You can be I in you can be in more than one, but you can yeah. only create one. Yeah, you can be in multiple, but you can oh. Very so, like, good. make that team. I did this. Yeah, there's a um I mentioned the uh the March highlights, stream highlights will be out soon TM. I I finally got Gamut intro and outro that he was waiting on. Um, so, uh, there's a very good bit of editing that Gam did related to that joke. That I'm excited for you guys to see. Unless you follow Gam already, shout out to the Gam. Because he, he edits the highlights on his stream. As well as, like, streaming games and shit. You know, but Gam's great. You're safe. And yeah. Heck yeah, dude. I Nice clip I made. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Pixel. Bits. Quote from New World of Steam. Lo so let me explain something. A Chicago puzzle is not only not better than a New York puzzle, it's not a puzzle, it's a fucking math problem. Pick rats go on top of the sauce, not underneath. Thank you, Pixel. They go atop the sauce. A Chicago puzzle is an above ground swimming pool for pick rats. Ugh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, Let's get the hell back into this so I can be bad at puzzles. Um, hope you're all doing good. Uh, where's this? Yeah. Yeah. Latent soundtrack, my beloved. Get out of here, Sonic. Sorry. You can hang out in the wings for when I need you. Hmm. I decided to spare you and Doig this time. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Get back to it. Continue. Um. Uh, yeah. Woo. Uh. Yeah. I did. I did. I did about five seconds of research to be like, I don't remember how long this game is. Um. So I. I don't think we're gonna be finishing it today. But I, if we. If we get three egg, then I'll. I'll be pretty happy with our progress. Um. It turns out Ed, that Bud had the egg all along, as everyone in chat predicted, on the island. He passed it to Aurora in an attempt to bring a smile to her face. Now, one step closer to their goal, Leighton and the others can move on and continue their adventure elsewhere. It was supposed to be the finale. Yeah. For sure. Oh god, he's still just standing there. He spent an entire day just standing there staring at the cat. The cat was just staring at him. Well, good luck with that. We're off to location three, which was the desert? Desert. Let's go to the desert. Um, and then hillside and then walled city. The desert! A desert town built by brave pioneers. Its hard, hardy residents are involved in a constant battle against their harsh surroundings. This is just like Dragon Quest Builders 2. They're gonna ask me to build a monument to a golem. Anyway, um... If the map in the Azran Dome is accurate, there should be an egg somewhere in the vicinity. The land is arid, yet the ore paints the landscape a beautiful hue. The nearby town is surrounded on all sides by rocky mountains. Locating the egg may prove difficult. Well, we're two out of three with, uh, with like barely even trying, so... Have a little faith. I agree. I can only sense a faint resonance of the Azran. Then it seems we will have a long journey ahead of us. Let us begin by talking to the locals. Basically collecting the Dragon Balls? 100%. Yeah, we, we, are, we are getting all them D-Balls. Hello, Raymond. I hear dust storms are prevalent in dry climates. If you encounter one, I urge you to prioritize your safety and find shelter. Thank you, Raymond. Same to you as you follow us around town. That seems to be your, your deal. Mike Karuba. Thank you for 27 months. That's a lot. Oh, shit. They're hanging up some onions. Nice. Luke's always got to be the butt of the yolk. I don't know why I thought of a doctor. I don't know why you thought of that either, Vedrick. <laughs> ke ke. <laughs> it's, the, it's me lungs, Professor. <laughs> it's so dusty out here. According to Professor Sycamore, this is the town of Torido. Torido? I've not heard of it before. I don't think I see anything that looks like Azran ruins around here. The people of Torido are sure to be more familiar with the area than we are. It never hurts to ask around. Well then, time to get down to business, as soon as we find someone. 
Hmm. It is unusually quiet for a town at this time of day. This time of year. There's someone new! Ain't that the shitty place in Ohio I grew up next to? Oh my god. My man's is... is... is hipped up to kingdom come. Whoa! Tell me about these onions. What do you mean I can't inspect the onions? I want to know about the onions. You got a vampire problem? What a teensy little building. It must be really cramped up inside. I don't know why I thought onions is garlic. It's being the same. Same thing. Skinny thick legend. That's peak fitness. Peak physique. A teensy little building. What's scrawled on the big one sign? Is it a puzzle? The, the sign appears to say back in 10. I've solved your puzzle. Nice. Uh, yeah, Mike Rupa, thank you for the 27 months. I'm try- I tried- I'm tried to beat this game before you started. Currently almost done with all it- uh, with it all. I'll say the environment's really floored me. It makes me sad I can't see how it looks with the 3D. Yeah, same. I mean, I played it through once with the 3D. This is the kind of game, though, where I'd, like, slide on the 3D and be like, neat, and then slide it back off. <laughs> like, it's really cool, but, you know, it's not really. All the mine cart! Yeah, woo! Oh, and dead. Oh! What down there? Yeah. What's that big barrel doing all the way up there? Isn't that every 3DS game? Um, most, yes. Uh, this tank probably supplies water to the entire village. They put the water high up so it's easier to jump, to pump right for professors. Um, I think the only 3DS games I really played in 3D a lot, like more often than not, were Link Between Worlds, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Because in that game, it like every room in that game look is like set up where it looks like you're looking into a room on the screen. So it just worked worked, worked really well. Um, I have glasses now. Well, it works with, with glasses. Right. Link Between Worlds is real good. And the 3D is not transformative or anything, but the way the camera was set up, it just it gave, it gave a nice sense of depth to things. It wasn't distracting; it just was nice. Um, I played a, mon a lot of Monster Hunter. Uh, 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 was it uh, Four Ultimate and Generations? And I played those with a lot of 3D on, just because it was. It does kind of help you judge distance a bit when you're running up to a monster. It doesn't really make a big distance difference, but. Monon. Monon's good. Um, I miss Sunbreak. I haven't played any Sunbreak in a while. Um, and Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight on the 3DS is fucking great with the parallax and the 3D. Looks great. That might be it. <laughs> Almost every other game I played, I was like, neat, and then slide back down. Uh, yeah. I do miss it, though. And, and especially having to stream these games, having to. Being able to stream these games is great. Uh, but the fact that it's a 2DS... Um, Means like I can't, I can't even be like, whoa! Let me let me paint you a word, a word picture. Um, I mean, if I slid the slider up and down, you would on the capture see like this is effectively one of the two eyes, and it would just like slide around. But it's like Sega Cla 3D Classics. Yeah, I never really played because there were the Sega 3D Classics, Classics, and also a bunch of Nintendo like NES games that they um made into 3D. Um, and I never played any of them, but never played Kid Icarus. The floating menus in Tomonachi life? Kept looking at flat surfaces and perceiving those floating elements. Oh, God. That fucked me up with Monster Hunter because um, Monster Hunter's UI is at a zero depth layer, which is effectively the same as if you don't have 3D on. It's like at the level of the screen. Um, but you would frequently have elements sticking out in front of it. So if you were close to a monster, it would look like it was in front of you, and then like UI would slide in front of it. Like, because I was hunting Horn Mane, as I always am. So it'd be like, oh, your song is active. And it would be in front of this, like, it's to you. It's like, it's here, in front of the thing that's in 3D. No. Here's the monster. Here's the UI. But you see the text in front of it. So your brain explodes. And it, it doesn't feel good. Uh, stuff like that would happen. I'd be like, uh, maybe, maybe I'm turning down the 3D slider a bit. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to live on the edge of a cliff. Daily life must be a real hassle for the people who live up there. I'd say it's an ideally located property with glorious views all around. Yeah, but walking in a town sucks. Oh yeah, give me all them hint coins. I'm gonna need them. If the last couple streams of puzzles are any indication. Se e un rathalos. 
Good morning, fellow star to disappear randomly. I'm on a train. Oh my god. Have a good train. Eh, 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 eh. Gotta get a zipline. Well, that's a one-way situation. Hard to zipline up a zipline. All right, sir. Hey, a word of advice from me to you. We don't take too kindly to strangers here in Torito. It shifts training arc. Zip line one time. And then you go back. Um, I, you know, this is not a pipe. I think, I, yeah, it, it's just seen the pa un peep. That's all my French. Wow, you talk just like they do in cowboy films. How did their partner a fine day for us with some cattle, ain't it? Yeehaw! What? I don't think you heard me straight, boy. You hightail it out of here and don't you come back, you hear? Look, no, that's cultural appropriation! I can't say this has been the warmest of welcomes. Is there a particular reason for your hostility, sir? Straight boy, straight boy. Sure is, you folks. You see, you shouldn't be here. And unless you're a tough nut like me, you ain't gonna last 10 seconds in this town. Everyone, run for your lives! It's all red! Oh, oh, red? Yikes, so, somebody called the sheriff! Well, oh. see that? It didn't take much for that tough nut to crack. It seems unwise to linger here. Let's follow the man. Follow the man who told us to leave. Is it Texas Red? Oh my god, it is. That it is. That must be all red. Alright, Luke. Time to use your ability to talk to animals. Grr. Dude had a big butt. Yeah, everyone in this town is dumpy thick. We got dampy dumpers in here. Did you see that? It's the egg. We found it at last, Macaw. Boss was right then. Get in position. It's Monster Rancher time. Don't let it get away! Woo -doo 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 -doo. Robin, you nitwit, get back here. Yo. Professor, it's Tarjan! Yes, this is very worrying. Even more worrying is the fact that the egg appears to be hanging around that wolf's neck. Well, at least now we know why the streets are virtually deserted. Those men ran straight after the wolf! Come on, Professor, we have to hurry! Luke, stay calm, we've already lost sight of them. Besides, we'd be ill-advised to give chase without first finding our bearings. Right, we should ask around first. Do you think that man will be more willing to help now that his overblown ego has popped? Hmm. It's charging, it's low and battery. Professor, it's a big red wolf. Professor, I played out in ring, he's gonna stomp us. He's really strong. The residents of the desert town of Torito live in fear of a mighty wolf they call Old Red. Every time the beast makes its way into town, the people flee. But why does Old Red need to come to Torito in the first place? Old Red is certainly a fearsome sight to behold, and yet he left as quickly as he arrived without harming anyone or destroying anything. Professor Clifford, I'm gonna say hello. Professor, he's got me arm in his mouth. Giant Belfry. He's come to town for belly rubs. But everyone's scared of him, and that makes him sad. A cowboy hat shaped sign. Surely a sign for me to try on a cowboy hat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The cowboy canteen, all right, but what about cowgirls, eh? You tell them, Emmy. There are lots of different signs in this town. It's all very interesting. Thank you, Aurora. You continue to be the most energetic and exciting character. Uh... Yeah. Well... What? Uh, oh. Yeah. Old Red. To the town of Old Torito. Uh, this town, this wooden thing is full of water. What's it for, Professor? The local people would appear to take good care of their horses. I wish there was somewhere I could get a drink of water. Egg. Egg. This is accurate. Thank you, Kelly. We told you no water. A gentleman doesn't drink water. 
I'm so parched, Professor. Uh, one sausage egg MacGuffin coming right up. Just have to fight a wolf for it. Iron can be heated in this furnace and then shaped on the anvil. I usually feel the urge to touch hot things, but I'm a bit hesitant right now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Professor, my arm is melted off. It's so hot just looking at it, it's making me sweat. I'm glad Luke is learning some restraint. No, Luke, don't touch the sun. I'm gonna touch it. A hidden puzzle. Hmm. Don't drink water. There's water and tea, Luke. 64 thick as thieves. That's where when town is so thick. This trio of criminal brothers has committed so many crimes together, even their breathing has become synchronized. One of their favorite robbery techniques involves two of the brothers dropping stolen goods down from above, while the third brother handles their cart. It's Tetris. In order to keep the cart balanced, the weight must be distributed evenly in a square shape. Can you help the brothers get away with another big haul? Use the stats to slide the robber's cart left and right. Touch the icon on the right side to drop an item from above. All items rotate 180 degrees as they fall. The thought bubble on the top screen shows the order. They will throw the stolen goods in, moving from left to right. Move the cart around and ensure the pieces fall in this tidy square. But no awkward pieces sticking out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, chat. Oh, shit, chat. We get to go, we get to go tall. We get to, we get to go tall, boys. Um, I don't know, does it... I don't know if it's gonna be with gap or without the gap. Tell me how it's... It looks like without the gap, because of the grid. Anyway, um... Um... Drop... Slap it down! Dr slap... Slap it down there. Um... Go. And, um... Go... And... Go... Wait, no, wait. I've, I've fucked it. Um. Um. Hmm. Hmm. It appears I've made an error in judgment. Do it anyway. Hooray. And then you? Too bad. Okay. Uh, restart. Well, if we do that on the on this side, and then you go like here. Nope. Wait, huh? Tricky towers. I can reach the high shelf. Finally, I'm going to take all of Barry's fineries. Shiv. When did Shiv get tall? Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Oh, I I I get I get it I get it I get it now. Um, that, put that there, okay, great, I'm also very happy that when you fuck up, it just lets you go back to the last step, uh, there, and then this can go over there, and then it uh, can go right there, and then a good old line block, good boy -um. And knock him down. Yeah, woo. Huh, that was a cinch. If I was as tall, if I was tall as well as having my sparkling personality, I'd be present, just so you guys know. Yeah, I know. A perfect heist! Yeah. The brothers have done it again. Puzzle Dido. Cool cat. That one was definitely worth the effort. Yeah, woo. That was, that was a great little puzzle, because I got to think it was Tetris. Um... Alright. Alright, Buster. What's the deal? The varmint's gone! Well, gee, that's a relief. Hello again. With a spin. You folks again! Look, I ain't no yellow belly. Just skedaddle already. You came to the wrong place at the wrong time. One moment, if I may. It's fair to say the wolf we saw earlier is the cause of Torito's troubles, is it not? Yeah, what you just saw just now was all red. About all three weeks ago, we started coming down from yonder mountains. Could you tell us which mountains exactly? Eh, not a chance, miss. You go up there and he'll gobble you up faster and you can shake a rattlesnake. But if you're still fixing for an early grave, go see the sheriff about it. He'll be in the saloon. 
Okay. I'll do just that then. Whoa. Hey, Yakurza. Despite the panic outside, this room exudes goodwill and cheer. Why is that? The people that I have see here seem to be celebrating the fact that they survived the encounter with Old Red rather than dwelling on the fear. That man outside said the sheriff would be in here, but I don't see anyone who looks like a sheriff, do you? Um... Yeah, I really don't. What the hell is that? Look, Professor, look at this leg of ham! What a fine leg of cured ham. It smells absolutely divine. Cured ham is alright sometimes, but it's a bit too salty for me. Professor! Ham rhymes with jam, Professor! A toast for the ham jam, Professor! A mischievous nut. Hmm. I don't want to think about that. Uh, uh. It's hot, Professor! It's good. It's fine. Look how long this hot dog is, Professor! That would fill me up for a whole day. I generally prefer cucumber sandwiches, I must say. That, I, okay, Layton. Alright. A foaming tankard of... Milk. It's a milk bar, of course. What an impressive set of antlers. Would that she... Uh, would that we could shed regret like a deer does its antlers. Okay, second one. I'm not sure I'd like to have antlers on my head all the time. Just some of the time. Hey, Professor. It's cream soda. Yeah. That makes you act silly. Oh. Oh, that's some crunchy meat. Great. This is delightful. Uh, you there, sir? It's E10 plus. <laughs> I ain't see you around these parts, little lady. Where do you hail from? Me, I'm from the Azran. Oh, well, Azran, yep. I think my cousin Doc took a trip there last summer. Fine place. Say, you game for a game of cards? I'll deal. He had, he had a little bit too much cream soda, chat. He's got that sugar high. Go and got sniped. <laughs> me? Ezrin, me, gung gung. Cards on the table. Now see here, little missy, here's the game. Don't worry, it's simple enough, even if you ain't never played it before. Look at hands one, two, and three. Each time I've lined up the same four cards, some of them face up, some face down. On the touch screen, you'll see I've lined up the four cards once a game. If you turn over one of the cards and produce a diamond, you win. Well, little lady, which card you gonna flip? Huh? You should have lined up the same four cards. Some of them face up and down on the touch screen. I've seen I've lined up the four cards once again. Okay. okay. Alright. So is there, is there like an order to how they're moving around or something? I don't... I don't, I don't understand. Um... Huh. So... So... The four cards here... Are a, 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 a spade, a heart, a diamond, a club, and a joke. Wait, what? One, two, three. Each time I've lined up the same four cards, some of them face up, some face down. I've lined up the four cards once again. Huh? Get the banana. What? You turn over these cards, where's that when you win? So, but there's a joker. So it's more than four? Am I misunderstanding? Hey, Sonny, you have a good one. Thank you. Therein lies the trick. Does one of the cards have a joker on its back? The heart has the joker on its back? But that can't be, because we don't see either. What? What? So it's it's either the heart or the diamond? Has is the joker? There's some shenanigans. Some up or some are down. Uh, un unless it's like the the heart can have clubs on its back or something. I I don't, I don't like the way he's looking at me. Um, I don't want to just randomly guess, but I have no idea 
My first thought was that there's a pattern to how he's shuffling them around, but the presence of five potential faces is fucking with me. Hmm. I think it's the clubs. What about the clubs? I do think there's a pattern. There's gotta be, right? <coughs> um, it's just logic. I, but I don't, but I don't see any logic. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's it's not good logic, but let me here, listen. The diamond is here, then it's here or here, and then it's probably here. Because I'm just going to ignore the Joker because it confuses me. So it goes from fourth place to first or third to second. If you go like one, two, three, four. So if it goes four, three, two, then it would be the first one. And that's based off almost nothing. But I, it's all I have right now. I'm nothing to do with the order. This. Brad, what's not in the no? differences? Don't How assume every work? card is a symbol on one side and green on the other, gunslinger. Okay. So the Joker is on the flip side of one of them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. It's not a sequence. <coughs> so... So I know that if the Joker is on the back side of a card, it's on the back side of the diamond or the heart. It's the back side of the heart. It can't be the back side of the diamond because two shows us the heart. But that also can't be correct. Don't worry about the Joker. I'm worried about the Joker. They can't be that because on the touch screen, we don't have the the fucking diamond or the Joker. Nothing we can do. Total backside of the heart. Which part of time I was in a saloon, but now I'm only falling apart. Um, which one's a regular backside? <laughs> um, okay. Here's here's the fuck part though. I don't know. Because if, if I've learned anything, it's that I know nothing. And possibly the club has something on its back. But I... Oh, man. When we see the diamond and when we don't. We only see the diamond in one. Why do we have double-sided cards? I don't know. But I, you know, I'll be fakes. What don't you see in that hand? In what? In one, we don't see club, and we do see club in the other ones. Is it? Is diamond on the back side of club? How does that work? Is it, is it, is it fucking three? Is it fucking three? I'm fairly sure about this. I did it! I... Yeehaw! The club is the card you need to turn over once you realize that one of old Derringer's cards is double-sided. The puzzle becomes a lot easier, ain't that right, miss? No, it still sucks. So, so he has... A spade, a heart, and a joker. And then a card with a club on one side and diamond on the other? I should've just gone with three. I should've just gone with three. Next puzzle I get that's... One of four options. We're going with three, chat. Glamorous heels. Professor, do I look glam? Do I look fab in these, Professor? Yeah, now that's how you play cards. Derringer. Oh, you got a lot to answer for, you chiseler. Sheriff, I was just, just a friendly little game. There weren't nothing untoward about it, I swear. I always thought you was low, but cheating an innocent girl at a game of cards, you better make tracks. Pronto. You are slain, Luke. Promise of three. I promise one three. Hick. 
Sorry about that, ladies and gents. That Derringer may be a bit sly, but he, and he may have a terrible sense of humor, but I guess deep down he ain't really a bad egg. He said egg, Professor! Anyhow, you folks must be from another uh, county or some such. What brings you out here to this deadbeat town? We're looking for something! The wolf you call Old Red has the item we seek around its neck. We're also looking for the rest of your vestas! It's a small vest! You want to meet Old Red? Ha! With all due respect, you folks must be off your rocker. Yeah, but if you're serious... Listen, this ain't really the place. Folks is celebrating, I don't want to bring down the mood, you hear? Let's talk somewhere quieter. Meet me by the dried up creek just north of here. <coughs> well, okay. I trust you. Have you seen this egg? I promise I will say three instead of actually helping with any math problem presented to me during this stream. I solemnly swear, with God as my witness, I will never do math as long as I live. Amen. Ugh. They're all drunk, they will remember. It's fine. Omelette. Omelette du fromage. Great. Good. Oh, good. Lizard. God, the white tails thing made me think of Shadow of the Colossus. Get him. <coughs> oh. I wonder what they're trying to keep out. Or maybe it's that they're trying to keep us in. I'm on to you, Bob Wire. I'm on to you. Look, it's just the fence. Dried up river bed. Salamander goo. Uh, oh, worm. Dancing caterpillar. Oh shit, look at him go. It's got the moves. It's that new TikTok dance that's making all the waves. The dancing caterpillar. Just kind of lie down and wriggle. The thick coating of red ivy makes this house look rather unsettling. I don't like this kind of whooping. Who would let the ivy grow wild like this? The house is covered. I say. I say, I say. Little where we hid in good. But they fired and they missed a lot. That did happen. Uh, what? No, no, no. No, no, anything else? Look at that horse. I feel like there's something else somewhere. Whatever. Hi. Ba -ba -bum. I am aware Zelatoth, unfortunately. I, I thought I was quick enough exporting the VOD. I've never had an issue. Well, I okay, that's not true. I I I I've never had an issue with latent audio getting muted. In the last game's credits. It played a song that restricted viewership on YouTube, where no one could watch it. So I had to do some editing shenanigans to try to cut out the music. But, audio mutes on YouTube are very rare, and I don't really plan for them, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I, whenever I end a stream, I export the VOD to YouTube right away. Um, so in the chance there is a mute, I, I'm, I'm quicker, because it takes a bit after the VOD after I end stream for the VOD process. It's quick, it's like a couple minutes, but yeah. So I, I exported the VOD and then came back a little bit later and saw it was muted and I was like, oh, I'm probably fine. I didn't check, so I should have checked. Yeah. All music should be calmer, yeah. I've been having a lot of issues with claims lately on YouTube. I've been having bullshit claims that I dispute and they come back and they reject my dispute. And I'm like, no. You, you don't own this, but now I'm risking a copyright strike if I appeal the dispute, so... Anyway, it's everything's great. I love copyright. Pardon me, Jiffa, back there. I just didn't want to cause a fuss for the whole town, you know. It's really cool and fun. Are you afraid of the big wolf? I ain't denying it. That old boy causes us a heap of trouble whenever he pays us a visit. Now, I'm sure you ain't blind, but beyond our little oasis of calm, there ain't nothing but badlands, as far as the eye can see. Uh, so, uh, com so computer, I am I am now doing local recordings for the rest of this playthrough, just to be safe. I don't typically do local recordings, because they can be taxing. My computer is a bit old, 
Um, so certainly if I'm playing a game on my PC that's using CPU resources, it's not really tenable. For something like this where I'm capturing, it's a lot easier. Um, the bigger issue becomes storage space, but all I need to do is record it and then just make sure that the export works out. So I might have to do that more often if copyright's getting somehow worse. <laughs> Foolish me. Uh, not expecting, but hoping things would either be the same or get better. But instead, things are getting worse out here. <laughs> so, woo! Yeah, woo! Anyway, I figure his old watering hole dried up, so he made Torito his new favorite spot, if you catch my drift. Screams. That makes sense. Animals do what's required to survive. Yep, now I ain't saying I don't feel for the poor fellow, but if he goes on like this, folks will not want to live here no more. Besides, who's to say he won't try and make off with Derringer or the like one day for his breakfast? We are well aware of the danger, Sheriff. Nevertheless, it's imperative that we find Old Red. I take it you would know where his den is. No backing down. Eh, ah, fine, but first you gotta help me with this here mystery. You mystery. Hooray! Yeah. Well, and I've said before on the, on the record that um I get copyright claims on the VOD channel on YouTube constantly, all the time. There's a lot of VODs on there, and anytime anyone uploads a, a video game soundtrack and raps over it, then I get hit with like 80 fucking claims and I have to dispute them. But historically, I've been able to dispute them and they get cleared eventually and it's fine. Recently, I've been having several different IP holders double down and say, no, we own this video game soundtrack because someone uploaded part of it to a record. Um, so that's been annoying, but even still, it's like more the principle of the thing of like, I don't like a company claiming they own a VOD because someone they manage stole music and claimed it's theirs. It's a principal thing, but it's like, okay, you can have the ad revenue, it's not a big deal. It's when viewership gets blocked or when audio gets muted. That's when I, get, I actually get upset. Because it's meant to be an archive, first and foremost. It's meant to be a stream archive, so if that gets fucked with, I'm like... Damn it! It's not a big deal, and certainly not that much of the first part of the latent VOD was muted, but I'm still annoyed about it. Anyway, find the coop! A farmer comes back to his chicken coop to find the door open and all of his chickens gone. He tells the sheriff who works out either A, B, C, or D is responsible, but they're all pointing fingers at each other. A says it's B who's to blame. B says C's the culprit, no doubt about it. C says it's either A or B, I'm not sure which. And D says it's B or C, one of the two. Only one is telling the truth. Who is to blame? Oh. Well. Uh. Um, well, probably, th oh wait, I did say it was gonna be three. Yeah, you're right. C, it's three. Here's my answer. What do you mean it wasn't three? I must have been careless. Thanks for reminding me, I forgot I was gonna do that. Imagine each one of the men is the culprit, and then see how, yeah, okay, all right. That was the wrong puzzle to guess three. That was my bad. Yeah, I'll probably start hosting my VODs on the Neopets forum. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, okay. Um, A says, okay, if A done it, then... Wait, but there's there's no statement about who, how many people are lying or how many are telling the truth. It's just that only... Why did I say... One is telling the truth. Everyone else is lying. So working backwards from that, you gotta put my foot down. Yeah. It's B who's to blame. If they're telling the truth, then they're lying... Well, C is saying it's either or. That's not really... If they're lying, then that means it was either C or D. So, <laughs> God. Um... Three backwards. Three backwards is E. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. A says it's B is to blame. So then, that can't be true. So A is lying. Uh, if C is the culprit, I no doubt about it. That also can't be true. If C says it's A or B, um, that could work. If it's A, if uh, it's B or C, one of the two. I think it's A. A done it. Let's shed some light on this one. Excellent, if I do say so myself. You do say so yourself. Exactly. A is the one who's responsible for the chicken's disappearance. He didn't steal them, though. He simply forgore to close the door. 
A's punishment will be to get the chickens back and clean the coop from top to bottom. B and D will have to help them too. That'll teach them to lie. I mean, they weren't lying. They were just being like, he left it. It was a mistake. That's pretty intense. A gravestone grove. Thunderation, so it was that feller. Guess I'll be sleeping easy tonight. Now a deal's a deal. I'll tell you what you want to know. Some folks have seen old Red going into the old abandoned mine at night. My guess is that's where he sleeps. Now I'm sure you got a good intentions and all, but I want no more part in this. From here on, your lives are in no one's hands but your own. Please, for your own good, stay clear of the old boy. So old Red's dead somewhere in that mine, is it? Let's go and pay the old boy a visit. Leave it to me. I'll see if I can convince him to give us the egg. That's right. It's right next to the old abandoned blockbuster. Ah, oh, it looks haunted. I don't want to go in there. Professor, are you all right? You're trembling. Blockbuster. This is a cursed place. So this is the mine where old Red lives. We'd best be on our guard. Agreed. Luke, it's very possible they will have a bad temperament. He may not listen to you. Let's be on the safe side. We should have a backup plan. Oh, no need for that. I'm sure I could sort this out. Oh, okay. We're just gonna let the child who talks to the animals have authority here. Sand is slowly falling from a hole in the roof, topping up this pile. We'll get covered in sand too if we get too close to that corner. Even that spade will be buried by it before long. Praise be. 4,000 praises for the pile. Hell yeah. Love to see it. Uh, I can zoom over there. Don't remove the sand blocks, Luke. Professor, we dug straight down! Professor, I'm falling! Ugh. Professor, I, I, I might have screwed up the cobblestone generator. You what, Luke? You've damned us all, Luke! You fucked up the cobblestone generator, Luke! But Luke! Who'd have thought this dusty cave would have a, su a supply of clean water? Nature appears to have taken over this disused mine. This water's really clean. I bet there are even fish living in it. Nature is healing. And he's sleeping. Deer Skull. That's a Pokemon, right? Deer Skull. Alright, well, this is gonna go pretty well. Grr. Whoa, he's bearing his fangs. That might not be a good sign. No? You think? Grr. Uh, Shiv? Forgot this century. He seems to be in pain. I wonder if it's hunger, like the sheriff said. I hope not, because we just walked into his lair. Mind you, if he wanted to eat us, I'm sure he'd have done it by now. That makes me feel so much better. I'm not sure that's very comforting. A gentleman never backs down from a challenge. I can do this. Old Red, please listen. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to know what's wrong so we can help. I thought when he talks to animals, he goes like, rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, you are? So that's why. What'd he say? The reason he keeps visiting Torino is because he wants to find the girl who saved his life. <coughs> I don't have some coffee today. Uh, the girl who saved his life. Gar. He you doesn't know, think he has a very long left and he wants to thank the girl before it's too late. So he's ill? I'm not sure, he just says that he's in terrible pain. He can't find the girl himself because every time he goes into town, the people run away in fear. Maybe we could help him find the girl and he could give us his pendant. Grrr. Uh, he's not keen on that idea, it's really precious to him. It was a gift from the girl, and now he wants to give it back. But she can't need the aura stone as much as we do. What should we do? He does, in fact, do that. Right. So now what's he doing? Thanks for the hydrate, Brock. Well, if I was in his position, I'd want to do the same thing, so I think we should help him. He says the girl's quite short, and the last time he saw her, she was wearing a red scarf and had plated black hair. 
Come on, let's go back and find her. Oh. Sheriff Flint, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were scared of the old boy. Ma'am, if you don't mind me saying, the only one who's happy about Old Red coming to pay us all a visit is you. He may have good intentions like you say, but all it'd take is one little accident and he'd have one very angry mob hunting him down. Oh, don't make such a ballyhoo. When's Old Red had ever had ever had anything about ever said anything about eating folk? That's the darnest thing I ever heard. Lady, I reckon anyone who claims they can speak with the old boy is sure to have two sure to be two rungs short of a ladder. That's rich, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed yourself, Flint. Besides, a wolf or two might even be good for Torito. It'll liven up this dull burn. Wow, that lady's really old. I, I, I mean, that lady's really having a go at the sheriff. Indeed, perhaps we should inquire. Good evening, Sheriff. About the lady with whom you were arguing. Probably who is a very good word. Do, do, do. Oh, that old gal. Well, we all got pieces of odd in us, but she's just got bigger pieces than most. I'm worried one of these days she's gonna get herself in a whole lot of trouble. Heck, if it's like this every time Old Red pays us a visit. Some say she's the one calling the beast over. But Old Red's just a gentle giant. I hope that bossy old woman isn't bullying him. Gentle giant? Have you got eyes in the front of your head, boy? Uh, Luke here is, let us say, a great lover of animals. He believes that deep down they all have a gentle side. That's sweet, but don't go sign with the old lady just because it sounds nice. I reckon she's gone off a rocker. This isn't getting us anywhere. Come on, Professor. Let's find the girl old lady's been looking for. All right, I suppose we can always get to our inquiry later. Herschel Phrasing. Please. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Um, maybe she's in the saloon. Getting tanked up. Hey, Jay. Hey, Dawn. Welcome back. Oh, uh, um, ham. Do do do. do. Think I believe to ask? I mean, it must have happened just yesterday, right? Oh God. We all see the twist of the little girls, right? What do you What do you mean? But well, we haven't seen a little girl. Look at you it is. Listen, I'm awful sorry about earlier. It's just that I was so relieved when Old Red took to the hills, I might have gone a little overboard with the celebrations. Let bygones be bygones, Mr. Derringer. We're wondering if perhaps you could help us with something. Do you know of a girl in Torita with plated hair and a red scarf? Plated hair? Why, you must mean Scarlet. Better watch yourself, Pa. She looks a demure gal, but believe me, she ain't. About now, she'll be down at the saloon, tidying up the place. Thanks. I don't trust anything Derringer says. Gonna be Descalay. Daria, what brings you to this remote little town? No, wait, your next big scoop, I presume. On the ball as always, Desmond. Can I get your opinion on something? I'm thinking of publishing this puzzle along with the next article. Sixty-seven, a feathered apple. Depicted on the touchscreen are eight coasters of various shapes and sizes, artfully arranged to form an apple. These eight coasters can also be rearranged in the shape of an ostrich. Rearrange the eight coasters to create an ostrich exactly the same shape as the one on the top screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I am now BTTV Android. Well, that's a thing. Beep boop beep bop. Eight coasters. Um... Turn the apple new one on. Oh no! Oh, I was like, "Why? This doesn't seem that hard. I just pick them up and rotate them." It's a sliding block puzzle. Oh no! Uh. Um. Uh. So what? So when? I want to assume this is the head. So let's put that there. Um. That's probably the body. I move you. And um. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 
um, wait here, right? Okay. I mean, the rest is all bad still, but yes. Okay. So then, uh, so I'm gonna keep that out of the way for now. Yeah. Um, let me get some stuff on top there. But to, but to what? But to what do I owe the pleasure? Um. Uh. Eh. Eh. Don't want you up there, somewhere. Maybe. Hmm. Why does he squish his head like that? Yeah, it's a bit squished. The light brown is the outline. Wait, what? Oh my fucking god, there's just a template on the bottom screen. There sure is. That does help. Thank you. Um, I'm just trying to think which pieces do I need to use. And if I get the green up there... Um... Like this... There... Oh, it's done. Okay. Upon careful consideration... Logical thinking is essential in my line of work. God, I wish I could squish my head like that. Like a deflated balloon. You've turned your apple into a perfect ostrich. That's the saying, ain't it? Staggered hills. Fab! That's just the sort of feedback I was looking for. Say, if you're ever back in London, drop by for a coffee. She's ignoring the rest of us. Well, I'd be delighted to. Let me just consult my extremely busy schedule. Oh, Sycamore. All right, back to the saloon. There she is! We found the girl! Oh gosh, well this ain't good. No, this ain't good at all. Miss Scarlet, do you require some assistance? Assistance for little old me? Why, thank you, sir. See, I've been hankering for a burger, but I done forgot the recipe. Well, you just... burger? Not much of a recipe. 68, burger building. Help Scarlet make a tasty burger by jumping ingredients over one another to stack them up. You gotta follow these rules. Ingredients can only move by leaping vertically, horizontally, or diagonally over other ingredients. An ingredient cannot jump over two or more ingredients at the same time. Ingredients you jump over are removed from the counter and put on the burger. You must finish with an ingredient in the middle of the grid and nowhere else. Okay. Makes that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh bar burger. Burger. Um does the order not I guess the order doesn't matter. Right? I just need to jump them around and then leave one in the middle. So get that on there. Do some of uh, some of that. Um, uh, yeah, that's not right. Um, hmm, 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 made a burger. You know, I think this may be it. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. So gentlemanly. A tasty victory. That's one tasty burger. And all that effort you put in to prepare it is sure to make it taste even better. Yeah, ingredients taste better if you slap them around a bunch. Scarlet's request. Now that's a mighty mouth watering burger right there. Good work. Wait, who are you folks anyway? I'm Luke. This is Professor Layton. How do you know my name? Don't worry about it. Now then, Luke here had a chat with Old Red. He said he would very much like to see you. Hold on a minute. You're saying you spoke with Old Red? I knew it. Ain't no one believed me and Grandma, but we knew Old Red was a kind soul. If they could see Old Red for who he really is, they'd finally start taking Grandma seriously. Can you tell the old boy something for me? Tell him... Tell him to stop scaring living daylights out of everyone in Torito. Ask him to try and make peace. I think that's something you should tell Old Red yourself. Come on, let's go and see him. We're about to get a little girl killed, aren't we? It's tenderization. Eggs on burger, Y or N? Uh, 
It depends on the Borgor. But for me, it can be a Y. Usually it's a no. But sometimes a yeah. Just depend it depends on, on, on what else is on that Borg. For like a normal ass, uh, default ass vanilla burger, no. But if you're making a fancy burger, I could be persuaded to drop an egg on there. It can be fun given the burger, right? Yes to all burgers anytime. Scrambled scrambled eggs on a burger sounds kind of rough though. Bam. Uh, gosh, now you're talking. You okay with this, Mr. Layton, sir? Consider yourself one of us, Miss Scarlet. Now we'd better go quickly if we wish to see Old Red before the sun sets. Egg and bacon. Look, she's in the party now. I really appreciate, even though it's like three pixels tall on the bottom screen there, that anytime anyone joins the party for three seconds, it's literally a couple screens, and then she's going to be out of the party, but I'm not talking to you again, Derringer. Hey, what are you doing with the little girl? We're going to get her eaten by a fucking beast. There's a coin I missed. Um, it's 12 pixels. My mistake. I mean, that's, that's, oh, hi. Um, that's the water. It's just a hint coin. It's fine. It's, it's, hey, what's up? Gotcha, you big stupid dog. Hand over the egg or you'll be sorry. Professor, what are they doing? Doesn't look good. Listen, you've had your warning. Now let's see how you tough you are. Take this. Thank fuck. <laughs> Robert, don't tell me. It, it's not loaded. What do we do? What do we do, Macaw? <laughs> Run! Robin, you ninny weight. Girl. Us again. Hello. It's a good job they aren't the most dynamic duo. Look, old red, we brought the girl. Ah, uh, don't worry, you pretty little, pr pretty big head anymore, old red. I'm here now. Please stop scaring the townsfolk. Do you think you can do that for me? Girl. It's okay. If you want to say something to her, I'll translate for you. Girl, girl, girl. What? What's wrong? He says you're not the one he's looking for. A what? Chat? I don't understand. The, the game must have bugged out. But how? And I was so sure he'd taken a cotton to me. What? Is that a saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like we'll have to find someone else. He's looking for the looking the worst for wear. We better find the right girl before it's too late. I suppose we should go back to town and think about this. Hmm. S some predicament. This is the greatest puzzle of all. It doesn't make sense. Scarlet seemed the best fit of the description Old Red gave us. But Old Red said she didn't smell the same. Well, unless anyone here is actually a dog, I think we can rule out that method of investigation. I don't suppose we could just bring Old Red down here to sniff her out. Nah, that ain't gonna work. The moment anybody claps eyes on him, they'll hightail it out of there. We should also consider the possibility that the girl is not from Torito. True, she could have merely been visiting like us. We could ask Grandma. There ain't never been a soul live pa uh, living soul pass through here without her knowing about it. That sounds promising. Frankly, we could do with any lead at the moment, no matter how small it may be. Great. Well, our house is this one right here. Kind of hard to miss, really. Perfect, then let's pay her a visit. The spooky ominous house. Good. Make the emotes wide. Well, that's funny. I wonder where she is. Out shopping, perhaps? Not likely. Grandma hates going out. She almost never leaves. Oh, now I'm feeling rattled. I thought she might be taking a nap behind the big sewing doohickey, but there's no sign of her. Don't worry, Scarlet. There's no point in jumping to conclusions. Perhaps it would be best to wait here in case she happens to come back. You know, I wouldn't mind living in a cozy little cottage like this. Just look at these wonderful handcrafted furnishings. Original pieces like these add a real touch of character to the place. 
Oh, she left there a photo frame. I made that one for Grandma. She was over the moon when I gave it to her. Mm-hmm. Very, very nice. Wait! That's a photo. I gotta look at it. Uh, this is a sewing doohickey. This wheel is being used to spin lamb's wool, if I'm not mistaken. You use the, the treadle at the bottom to make it turn, don't you? Can I have a go, Professor? Can I? Wee! Whoa, whoa! Look at it go! Yeah! Gold clock. Eh, spider. Eh, yeah, here. Wonder what this red sweet corn tastes like. Sweet corn can last a long time after being dried in this manner. Sweet corn's real tasty, but I hate how it gets stuck in my teeth. Same. Ooh. Are we checking the suitcase of animals? Um, not too much. I haven't done a lot of the optional stuff. These books contain recipes for medicine and other stuff. They look old, but they seem to be in good nick. Practical tomes that suggest a stoic rural reader. If you guys want, we can maybe check out some of the... Some of the optional stuff later on. Oh, found money! Ah! You'd have to be pretty tall to put books up there. Speaking of books, I've got a puzzle for you, Luke. Please don't be another one of the bad book pit cross bullshit. 69! Fuck! It's another one of the... No. No, I hate this one, though. No, but I hate this one, though. No, it's not nice. It's not... They ruined it. They ruined it by making it, making it bad. Uh... Gah. I hate it. I hate it. Um. Maybe that. Maybe you can do that. Uh, maybe. Um. That. Um. Oh, shit. There. How's he doing, chat? Hi, Todd. Move second row over one. What, huh? Doesn't seem right, does it? Very much three. Very much all of the above. At the same time, I hate this puzzle. I hate it! It's a bad puzzle. Very bad puzzle. Okay, get rid of that. Drop that there. Uh... No, nope, because I'm missing one down here now. Fuck! I hate this puzzle. It's so bad! It's just bad! It's just a bad puzzle! I'm throwing coins at it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Two of the red balls should be placed horizontally, one on the second row from the top, other on the fourth row from the top. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, the red bundles were placed vertically. I did that too. Fill three, you soon find there's only one place a vertical bundle can go. Yeah, done. Put green in the top right. Okay. 
And then, what with this? That would... That. I don't think I can put a green in the top right. There's a drawer you can completely fill in. Is there? Are you sure about that? I don't see a row you can fill in, or a column you can fill in. The blues go row three, I think? Where in row three? I'm just gonna... Um, place the red bones as shown here, and then look at blue. I fucking... Okay, they said they want... You want this one over one? Okay, fine. Okay. And this is here. Again, it's it's a bad puzzle if it's like, okay, if you don't have the red ones in the right spot, then you're fucked. But also, there's a bunch of ways they can go. So you just have to trial and error it forever. It is a goddamn F. Um, okay, where, 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 where does blue need to go? We could do one on this row, perhaps. We can do... We need some on this row. We need this. And then... Maybe... Maybe like that. Mm. I adore Picross. Picross is great. This is not Picross. <laughs> this is... Picross you can unravel purely with logic. This is a, a sh fucking travesty. This is just guesswork until you get it right. Picross is is unraveling a knot. It's satisfying and, and it makes sense. This is just it looks visually like Picross, but it's bad. Yeah, I am bad at this. That's why I was mad when it was like, here's another fucking book puzzle. I don't I don't know. Um that. Um that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Thank fuck. That one's in the trunk. It's in the trunk. Throw it out. Nice. Thank you. Puzzle 69. All the books are right back where they're supposed to be, at least until the next borrower comes along. If it was set up like Pit Cross, where never click on books again, I do know. <laughs> I. If it was set up where it was like, okay, based off of the blocks where you can't put a book, and based on the numbers, you're guaranteed... I talked about this last time. Even if it was like, you, you need five in this row, and there's only five spots, that's not even a guarantee that you can put, like, the biggest... Because, isn't what Whatever. It's like... You can't reasonably deduct any information. If it was just individual books, then maybe, but... It's bad. Talk about the chess ones, usually end up looking those up. Yeah... Similarly, that that's like it's like a category of latent puzzle, which is it's it's solving a maze by not being able to see the maze. But you're just going, okay, I'm gonna start by making a left turn, and now I need to explore every option that way. Okay, I went as far as I can. Let me go back one step and go the other way and check out that. Now let me go two steps back and go that way. So if you make a wrong first step, it becomes unsolvable, but you don't know that. That's a genre of latent puzzle that I'm not a fan of. Because it's, it's... And sometimes there's like a little thing to give you a little bit of a nudge without using a hint to be like, you want to look for this? But even still, it's still primarily guesswork and marking off options. And like, that's not a puzzle. That's just busy work. Anyway. Impressive work, Luke. There's one more of those, by the way. If there's another fucking book puzzle we run into, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm, gonna throw, I'm gonna throw hint coins at it. 
I don't, it makes me bad. The puzzle reminded me of all the books in your office you need to put away, Professor. Oh, shit. All right, look at the thing. I wonder if, like, um... Maybe it's like a picture of Dorian Gray situation. Is that you, Scarlet? Oh. The same five puzzle monsters, five, three, four, six puzzles. Yeah, same. It's it's really jarring. I will say that Miracle Mask had a weird dependence on, especially like plot set piece kind of moments being like action mini games. And this game does have, you're in an airship and you have a gun and you're shooting down drones, which is absurd. But other than that, it's been pretty much all just normal ass puzzles. But yeah, there's been a weird lack of variety. There have been some cool puzzles in this one, but it's like, it feels like, it feels like they just recycled a couple ideas. Maybe they were just tired of making latent games at this point and they're like, uh, we'll come up with a couple templates and reuse them. It was, it was, the Puzzle Master passed away at this point. That could be. He certainly uh, passed away since this. I don't know when exactly. Um, but they announced that the, the new latent game, they have, it's like a Japanese YouTube channel that makes puzzles. Are the Puzzle Masters for the new one? I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I'm down. Sounds neat. It looks really old. As it happens, no, that's grandma back when she was my age. Quizknock. Yeah, I've never heard of him. But it sounds neat. Really apparent in Lady Late. Gotcha. Do more puzzles compared to the first couple of games? Could be. I think... I don't know if that's true or not. I think the reason it might feel that way, though, is the structure of this game. Where you're going to smaller locations and doing a lot of stuff in a small area. The previous games typically had one or two major locations you would spend a lot of time exploring. And things would evolve over time where it's like, oh, now this NPC is over here. But you would have a lot more time to talk to people and just get the lay of the land. Where here it's like, there's a couple NPCs and most of them have puzzles. And you have to do most of them to progress the plot of each zone. Um, there's definitely lots of optional stuff I'm missing. But like, if you think about the previous Lightning games, I would finish a chapter and would go, here's all the puzzles sent to Granny Riddleton. And it's like 18 puzzles. And this time it's like, here's the two puzzles you missed. Here's the one puzzle you missed. Um... But, yeah, it, it's it, the structure of it is different. Puzzle 88 is more book crimes. Got it. Am I going to do Lady Layton? I don't currently have plans to. Um, my goal after this at some point is to do the first Ace Attorney. So I can then do Layton versus Phoenix Wright. After that point, I might be like, I'm good. I don't want to do any more, like, visual novel adjacent games for a while. I need to rest my fucking throat. We'll see, though. But... Uh, is that so? MGS4 is after the series, right? MGS4 comes after, um... Uh, Unwound Future in the timeline. Yeah. I mean, MGS4 is the next MGS game that I will stream. So. Rather watch anime than play Lately again. Gotcha. Hello, Rib. We are doing puzzles. Is that so? What is it, Professor? I think I've worked out who the girl we're looking for is. I will need Scarlet's grandmother to confirm it. My god. There she is. She looks like, um... She looks like a piece from a board game. The way that, that, the way that she is shaped like a dome. Like a molehill. It feels like you just put her on a board. What in the blazes you strangers doing in my home? She's kind of meeple-like. A little bit, I mean, doesn't... The, the meeple Mima? Mima Meeple? There's something there, right? <laughs> Anya from Spy Family, age 90. I lived, bitches. Woo! Woo, yeah! Meeple-like is my favorite genre. Meep Meep. Meep Map. She's like Impa. She's kinda, yeah. Looks like something strong side would obsess over. Grandma, I was worried sick about you. Where in tarnation have you been? Scarlet, if these rascals been harassing you, you hush now. They're gonna vamoose, quick shop. No, no, that's not it. Oh, Grandma, old Red's been looking for someone who looks like me, and we don't know who. There, there, not another word, darling. Wait, did you say old Red? Scarlet, they must be hunters. Scum of the earth they are. Knew they'd turn up on Torito's doorstep one day or another. Grandma, no. Mr. Lean and his pals ain't hunters. Oh, they ain't? Well then, Mr. Layton, why don't you tell me what you're doing out here, eh? Madam, please, I assure you we intend no harm. 
We only wish to inquire about old Red. It's Professor, not Mister. No, 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 you can't fool me with your gentle person act. I know just what will make you show your true colors. A, pu a puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's probably a puzzle. She's got a feather duster. Get down. A knightly trial. This country's national flag has the same design on its front and back. Would-be knights in this land undergo a series of grueling tests, one of which involves counting the number of squares on the national flag. Okay. Prove yourself worthy of a knighthood by working out how many squares are on this national flag. Is this, is this, is this, is this the bullshit puzzle where you gotta be like, well, there's one, but then also here's one, and also here's one, and also here's, is it that? It's probably that, right? Fuck. Yeah, god dang it. Um, so... So it's a five by five, so we got 25. And then if it's a two by two, that gives us, what? One, two, three, four. Two, three, so four by four is another 16. And then three by three gives us three, so that's another nine. And then if it's four by four, um, wait, did I fucked up the math? No, no, we're right, we're right. But if it's a four by four, that gives us two more squares for an additional four, and then one more big boy. Plus one for the big square. So that added up is... Um... 55? It did it in my brain. Is that right? Uh, 25 plus 16 is... was 30, 40, 41... Plus 9 is 50, 54, 55. I did it. 55. That, 55. Take a little mogus in the corner? Absolutely not. In fact, I'm just going to replace their, their country's flag with an Among Us. Now that's a flag I would stand up and salute every day. Good morning, USA. 55. Did I do it? My intuition should serve me well. It's a double-sided flag. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Wait, but if it's double-sided, we need three digits. So something's wrong. Something's very wrong. I think it's 17? How do you get 17? Maybe not the green ones? If the green ones don't count? Than doing a, a stupid well, it's a mogus. Doing a weird like doubled up square doesn't count. But if it's just complete colored in squares, then it's too easy. So now I don't know. Outside green ones don't have edges. Well, that's bad. Okay. All right. Let's let's assume that that's the case. Um, if that's the case, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's how you got seventeen. So it's 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 seventeen, and th and then plus this, or are we not counting that because that is also missing the same edges. So is, is it just 34 then? The two by twos in the middle? I don't know if those would count. Uh, I, well, maybe you could count this one because that technically all has edges. But you can't do the biggest square. And I don't know if you can do any other smaller squares. This puzzle's stupid. There's a lot of ways you can be like, you can justify different answers. But like, this should not count by this logic. Because this edge and this edge are missing sides. 
If if that's the rules, you need to have a border between squares to count as a side. 17 plus 5? Where are you getting an extra 5? The 2 by 2s in the middle count. Okay, sure. Yeah, so if, if that's the case, then... Right, you have 2 by 2s right? There and there, and then one more for the larger one, encompassing all those. So that gives you an additional 5. Correct. So, if that's the case, then we're looking at... What, 22? Times 2? For a total of 44? Works for fucking me! Else... You know, I think this may be it. Okay, this- this sucks, though. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly like, pursuit. Like, I get it, like, I get it. I see now the logic of it, but it's a bad puzzle. <laughs> I think there's a better way to make that the puzzle. Chivalry isn't dead. The same design is shown on both the front and the back, so the answer is 44, not 22. Knights need brains as well as brawn, you know. They should be walking through how you get to 22. Because if I guessed 44... ...or something... If I was like, well, it's, it's, it's gotta be this... Yeah. That horse is strutting. Sure is. My lations is thinning. A sunflower jacket. Harumph. Seems you ain't fixing for trouble after all. What's your game? We would ask only that you come with us to see Old Red. What? You want to bring this lady along? I believe there has been a great misunderstanding. What do you mean, Professor? You recall that Old Red wished to see the girl that once saved him, yes? Yeah, and he gave a really specific description, too. I was so sure we'd find her. On the contrary, with the description that we were given, it would be impossible to find this girl in the present day. Now, if we sought for her in the past, our conclusion may have been very different. Isn't that right, Miss Ruby? Now, how would a posse of strangers like you folk know something like that? Let's just say we were able to establish a means of communication with the resident wolf. That wolf has been desperately trying to contact you, the girl who once saved him before his life expires. Oh, that poor fellow. Well, I guess I should be thankful you're telling me this now. I'd have gone sooner, but this frail old body can be a nuisance like you wouldn't believe. Well, what are we waiting for? Is she in the party now? Yeah! Look at her go! She's just bobbling up and down. Well, one, one pixel squat, my beloved. Old Red. I do have a posse. This is a big party. Here she is, Old Red. This is the person you were looking for, isn't it? Grr. Old Red, is that really you? That helpless little pup I rescued way back when. Ruh, ruh. Raggy. You finally twigged then. It's me, Old Red. It's Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> well, someone likes a good pamper. Look at you all puppy dog eyed and mellow as honey. <laughs> you ain't changed a bit, old boy. You knew you was hurting, and so you tried to see this decrepit old lady one last time. You're a real tearjerker, you know that? <laughs> he promised to return that pendant to you one day. That's why he was so desperate to find you. That's so. That's so. When I gave you that pendant, I thought of it as a sign that there'd always be a special bond between us. Always. Doesn't feel right to be taking it back. But if it's what you really want. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's the matter, old boy? <laughs> He says the pain went away. Oh my, so this pendant's the thing that's been causing you all that bother. Is that what you're saying? Wearing a pendant for some 80 years but giving you great agony? Golly, you were just such a tiny pup when I met you. I didn't think about it getting tight around your neck as you got bigger. He thought he was dying because his collar was too tight. 
So old Red wasn't really ill after all. He must have been able to perceive that something was wrong, but unable to pinpoint the exact problem. So it was a bit of a wild goose chase in the end. Still, all's well that ends well, I suppose. And then Ruby puts it on her neck, and then she starts choking. That's really cute art. Over there. Ruby with the pup. There you go. Old Red did not in fact come to Torito to scare its inhabitants. In fact, the wolf only wished to return the pendant to the girl who once saved his life. The people of Torito can rest assured that they have no need to fear Old Red. At least the dog was fine. Dog was great. He's the new sheriff now. Well, albeit I've never believed it. I trust Torito will welcome him in now. I assure you Old Red's a gentle creature. He would never attack this town or its people. After all, this is where his best friend lives. Ruby's got the pup. Ruby's got the pup. My eyes are telling me one thing, but in my head it still don't wash. I'll hang it all. He's a real curly wolf, ain't he? Maybe now you'll stop being such a croaker and keep an open mind. Now, I have a question for you, Mr. Layton. Professor Layton. You didn't just come here to help old Red out of the kindness of your heart, now did you? Alas, no, that was not our original goal. We were actually hoping to acquire the egg. Want egg? Give egg. You want this pendant? That's the reason why I've been chasing the old boy around like a hungry coyote? I suppose now there ain't nothing to stop him coming down to see me. Maybe we don't need it no more. Go on, take it, before I change my mind. Are you quite sure, madam? Now, what did I just say? All else I could do is get with it is give it to Scarlet, much as she don't care for it. When I first saw that tall hat of yours, I thought, Ruby, your granddaughter's fallen in with a bad crowd. But now I see it ain't so. Take it already. Got a hunch you need it more than she or I. Egg! Chat, can I get some, um, cool cat egg get? Cool cat egg quieter. Thank you. Got an egg. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Whitehawk. Thank you, Ruby. Your kindness knows no bounds. We're glad to have been of assistance. Well, then it's time for us to depart. Perhaps we will cross paths again in future. There he is. A big old pooch. Egg quired. Oh, you old namby pamby thing, you. Looks like the two of us have gotten old together, eh? <laughs> to be honest, I don't see how Flint couldn't fall in love with you at first sight, silly fool. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. And now to leave without looking at any other books. You tell me all that fuss old Red was kicking up around town was just because he wanted to see Ruby? You know, I'm plumb tuckered out with all his belly aching, but I should thank you folks for sorting out this whole mess. Only too glad to help, Sheriff. Though I imagine it may take some time before Torito warms to the new local celebrity. True words, my friend, true words. You know, there were other times that critter came to Torito. Oh, really? For decades, there's been rumors about a red figure silently looking down from yonder ridge on clear nights. So I take it that the townspeople only grew fearful of Old Red after he started showing himself in broad daylight. That about sums it up. I guess Ruby must have stopped going to see Old Red after a while. I'm not surprised he's been trying so hard to get her attention. He must have been so lonely. Yeah, but that's all gonna change now. We're gonna make up for lost time and make him feel like one of us. That's great. I'm sure I'll be really happy to be welcome around everyone. Farewell, Sheriff. I'm the new expert. Nope, not talking to you again, ma'am. I'm leaving. We got three egg. More than halfway done with egg. Welcome back, sirs and madams. I trust your expedition was a roaring success. It was indeed, and we were able to obtain an egg thanks to Luke's unconventional language skills. Did I tap the lizard? I thought I did. Nothing happened. Do I need to tap on it better? Being able to talk to animals certainly has its advantages. That is marvelous news. I shall begin preparations for our departure whenever you are ready. You know, this egg is the first Azran artifact to be discovered in this part of the world. I had no idea the Azran once lived here. Gotta get your grip gauge up. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I already made a shot of the classes reference. I don't know if there was more of the lizard. We did. But even in our time, it was an arid land. I just saw friend lizard. Got it. You know, I tried. There was nothing on him. Egg. Aurora, you've recovered memories of this place. 
Partially, yes. I recall that the Azran once tried to rejuvenate this dying land, but their technology was, at the time, insufficient. They could not restore balance to its ecosystem. That's all I remember. Fascinating. So the Azran, like us, like us, lived through ages of varying technological progress. Do you think they started out like people in the Stone Age with really primitive tools? A very probable theory, Luke. Mankind is always built upon the past in the hope of founding an ever brighter future. And now that Torito has made peace with Old Red, they can look forward to a brighter future, too. Where in the world is Hig? I wholeheartedly agree. Well, I believe it's about time for us to depart, shall we? We're off. Tra la la. Next is ice. The Fronborg was ice. Yay. Bring him the meat. Woo. Yeah, I'm safe. Um. Next is uh the hill hilltop, hilltop zone. Sonic. New articles were added to the World Times. Paul's mania is taking the world by storm. Millions dead. Bum, 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 bum. I did. It's fucked up. The joy of discovery one finds through archaeological pursuit is just as prominent, if not more so, in aviation. Uh -huh. Yeah, just out of curiosity, how many... I mean, I guess the other... Yeah, we're only missing one puzzle, but that's also because we have an airship to go wherever we want. So I've probably missed a ton of puzzles. They're just... Or if you go back to a place after you've saved the day, there's probably more puzzles there, too. Yeah. Uh, to the hillside! A rustic idyll known for its strong wines. Its self-reliant population make a living farming the lush surrounding pastures. Looks lovely. Let's crash in on a windmill. End of chapter four. Makes sense. The hills on the side with the sound of blue. That was awfully bumpy. I thought the Bostonius was gonna flip over at one point. I trust everyone's all right. Of course, don't worry, Raymond. Luke's just a bit of a scaredy cat, that's all. Hey, just because you weren't frightened doesn't mean you can make fun of everyone else. I'm afraid I was unprepared for such a strong headwind. My inability to predict this development is a stain on my reputation. Don't be so hard on yourself. The weather's nothing if not unpredictable. I'm sensing something. The light of the Azran shines brightly in this area. Oh? You seem really confident about that, Aurora. Yes, it is as though I'm being guided. Guided by some powerful force. Well, that's got to be a good sign, right? The Azran are practically showing us the way. I urge you all to take care. I shall be here awaiting your return as always. Ah, it seems you've obtained the Harajan egg. Very good. Stay a while in the airship. Oh, yeah. Windmills on a hillside? Now that's my aesthetic. Wow, just look at that view. You can see for miles and miles up here. This village goes by the name of Hoogland. I no longer wish to stay here. I would like to leave at once. Is Can we just... Four out of five eggs is good, right? It sounds like someone was naming it and got punched in the stomach. I hereby, in the in the sight of everyone founding this wonderful burg, I hereby declare this town to be forevermore and henceforth referred to as... And someone ran up and just... Hug! Okay. I ate all the eggs, I'm sorry. Bagel teeth? How dare you. How fucking dare you. Get the hell out of here. Uh, Hoogland. It's a farming community nestled among a, t a range of tall mountains. My word, it's terribly windy. I ought to watch the wind doesn't blow my hat clean off. You do well to watch out, Professor. Look at the size of these windmills. Must take quite a gust to get them turning. Seeing things like this is a real reminder of what a force nature can be. It's astounding. It was Hogland. They killed every hog. If Aurora thinks there's an egg around here, I can't wait to get started on our investigation. Ho ho. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunity for you to hone your talents as a photographer too, Emmy. Definitely, my shutter's gonna get a real workout. 
In fact, perhaps that friendly looking gentleman over there will agree to pose for a couple of shots. He does not seem well. Looks like his eyes are going in various directions. She's enormous! A sure sign of a happy, carefree life. I don't think this cow's interested in talking to me, Professor. I admire her insistence on sticking to her own pace. <gasps> Bugs! That worm is nodding. Oh. Well. Hashtag cow life. Hashtag goals. Uh, uh. Bug snacks? Bug snacks? And mirrors. Uh. Wood chopper next. <laughs> no. Oh! What's this thing? It seems so floofy. I wish all animals could be this soft. All these green fields must be heavenly for the animals. Benoi! The Benoi has a puzzle. Look how cute this Benoi is! Oh, he has a puzzle for us. I think he's just. I think he's sick. Aurora, don't touch a sick. Bemused bunnies. Heavy rain has completely messed up the routes that these rabbits usually take when they go home. Can you rearrange the path so that the black and white rabbits can go from their current positions to their respective homes? Oh, rabbit segregation! Great! The paths are divided into four panels. It's up to you to arrange them correctly. I don't like this puzzle anymore. This puzzle sucks. Um, may a path for each left. Oh. Oh, what the- what the fuck with this? What the fuck with this? What are you- what are you even talking about with this? Um, I've solved your puzzle. I- I think- I think I did. I think I solved- I think I solved it. Hmm. That was this is very- Let's see. Jason! That one's in the trunk! Sean! Nice work. The black and white rabbits will be able to return to the comfort of their own homes now. There they go. Whee. Bum, 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 bum. What a sweet little thing. Do you think he'd mind if I petted him? No, no, no. I think he'd like that a lot. There he is. Just a wee banui. A breezy, if perilous spot in which to dry one's laundry. The winds are so strong, the clothes will dry in no time. I just hope their pegs are strong enough. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Oh! He sure is looking in two directions. He's part chameleon. Thereby making him the apex predator. Oh, oh! Travelers, are we? You did well to find us all the way out here. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind having your, pho your photograph taken? Oh, oh! A photomograph of me? Right you are, young lady. I suppose I better strike a pose for you then, eh? Nice, that's a great photo. Right, one more. Hmm. All right, that's enough now. You don't want to be wasting your camera film on me. Not with the wedding ceremony about to start. A wedding? How wonderful. And it's the perfect day for it, too. Oh, a pretty young lady like you would make a fine bride yourself, you know. And that's going to be us ripping up that film? If you say so. Oh, I do. Now, you better hurry if you want to catch a glimpse of the bride. See you around, eh? Can we check it out, Professor? I'd like to see what a Hoogland wedding is like. Ho, ho. Don't forget why we're here, Emmy. Though I confess I'm rather curious myself. Don't worry, Professor. I plan to multitask. We'll be leaving here with a stack of wedding photos and the egg. I certainly hope so, Emmy. Now, let's continue into the village, shall we? Hoogland. Old men stop hitting on Emmy challenge. Impossible. No kidding. It's pretty constant. Oh, what a fresh breeze. Hmm. What's wrong, Professor? Brace yourselves, everyone. Oh. What's happening? Just when Professor has to fart. <sighs> That's just the bachelorette party. Don't worry about it. My word. Hey, 
Yeah, one of those, one of those good old-fashioned mountain tornadoes. What in the world was that? I'm surprised they didn't blow these houses away. Oh, he sneezed. Look around, Luke. It kind of did. Did you see the wedding party? They seemed completely undeterred by what just happened. To think they would still consider going ahead with the ceremony after witnessing such destruction to the village. Astonishing. It really is. Let's find out where they're headed, Professor. There must be someone around here who can tell us. Hmm. Sandwich. I wouldn't know where to start with a sandwich this big. A fine combination, but it's a few pickles short of a plowman's. I've got to eat something soon, Professor. I'm going to collapse. Late not allowing Luke to eat his cannon, everyone. Mm hmm, ham. Uh, Luke. Ham. Luke, that's 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 for display only. It, there's a sign right there. It's not real ham. The ocarina of gold. Do we not feed Luke? Mm -mm. Nope. Not our job. Just steal our food. Well, we steal everyone's money, so... This looks like it'd be a good wedding venue. It appears deserted. The ceremonies must be being held elsewhere. Where on earth did the bride go from here? Is Luke not vegan? Yeah, you'd think with being able to talk to animals. Well, I think Luke's diet is mostly puzzles with a side of jam. I really don't know. Is this a cult village? Oh, no, it's Midsommar. Well, it's been lovely seeing you all. Time for us to go to the airship now. The XD hidden screen is the cooked. Oh, good. Sheep puzzle? Excuse me, the bride who was just over there, do you know where she was going? It's the circle of life, Professor, chomping down on a squirrel. <laughs> bride, you mean Romilda, do you, eh? I suppose so. I was hoping to take some photographs of the ceremony, you see. Oh, so you want to take a photograph of Romilda, but not one of me, eh? This puzzle will teach you to be so rude. Photomograph. Look at this photomograph. Counting sheep. This farmer is a flock of around 400 sheep. Keen to find out the exact number, he started counting. He counted them in batches, hoping to save time, but lost track at the end anyway. As he remembers, all he remembers is that when he counted them three at a time, he had one left over. When he counted them four at a time, he had two left over. When he counted them five at a time, he had four left over. When he counted them seven at a time, he had two left over. How many sheep does he have? About 400? He's got 420 sheep. Okay, Emmy. Time to shine. Shit. Oh, bother. A Barvatar makeship? To do a, to do a Barvatar plush? Um, possibly. Um, make sure I made a mistake. I resent that. How dare you? Um, 420 is the only divisible at four. Maybe he's bad at math. Maybe that's the twist of the puzzle. Um, I mean, I would love to have... I mean, for me, I would much sooner want, um... A Barnaby plushie than a Barbatar plushie. Maybe both would be fun. Um, but I don't know. I, I I do eventually TM plan to reopen the merch store. And when I do, I will not have plushes in stock. But um I would probably want to explore what other options there might be. Cause it seems like makeshift does good work, but you know, we'll see. A puppet berry plushie. Hmm. Reversible barber tarts is there a part of me? It'd be great. I like pins. Yes, I want to have the pins back in stock too. Um the books from the house. A puppet berry puppet. It'd be fun. Uh 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 a, a viewer did make a Barbatar and Barnaby little plush and send them to me. They're on the shelf back there. And they're delightful. Um but yeah, that's that's a that's a maybe someday situation. Alright, hey, who wants to do some math? Um you know how much you guys like math, so... Uh... When you count three at a time, you had one left over. Can we see them, please, and thank you? I mean, sure. Okay, I'm gonna go get those. I, I hope that you guys figure out the math while I'm gone. Eh. 
All right, you guys do the math. Did you guys do the monster math while I was gone? I, d I, I don't have the, the note on hand for who sent these, but I adore that his head is just like a koosh ball. <laughs> it's very good. Just, I, I, it's like, it's like, it's upsetting because of the flesh colored bodysuit, but, you know, in terms of just like, you know, like, just fucking holding him, just, just like, like a rat, just, just fucking holding him, just shaking him. Like it's it's very it's a very good size for that. Just fucking mid COVID barbatar. He needs a man bun. Um, and this is the, the the Barnaby, which is fucking incredible. I mean, they're both incredible, but this I'm like, god damn. Look at these, these guys stinger and everything, little, little wings, winglings. It's great. It's real good. This guy's fucking feet. It's great. Good little guy. Excellent. Got like pipe cleaners for the uh the antenna. Anyway, I adore them. Him speak. Uh all right, so what's the answer, chat? You did some math? It's upsetting, which means it's good. Right. That's that's kind of the goal, right? Uh what am I writing in? Three? 420. I already did I already did that. Three three three? I already did that. A flock of around four and sheep. Four hundred and three. I trust you with my life. I just don't feel like right. doing math right I'm now. All set. That's 400 plus 3. What will the professor say? How's that- how's that wrong? How is that wrong? It ends in a 4. Do we know that? Um... When he counted them 4 at a time, he had 2 left over. Five times plus 4 and he means it needs to end in a 4. Because when you count them five at a time, you had four left over. You're right. Well, it could be 409, right? 394? Yeah. I guess because when you count them three at a time, you had one left over. So. Ends with a four. 394. When you count them seven at a time, you had two left over. Does that check out? Oh, well. 394. It's a lot of sheep. Want an answer? How's this? Hey, good work. Piece of cake. Thanks for saving me from having to do multiples of seven, chat. Six more, you have exactly 400. It's really good art. It's very good. Piece of sheep. Shrimple is that. Rocky Arena. There, we've solved your puzzle. Now will you tell us which way to the wedding ceremony, please? The wedding chapel is the chapel on that there hill. That's where Romilda's headed. I see. Well, thanks for your help. I'll come back and take some photos around here just as soon as the wedding's over. It really is a lovely little village. But if you like it so much, why don't you get married like Romilde? Then you'd be part of the village forever. And ever! If a nice looking lady like you got hitched here, it would definitely make the village a happier place to be. Thank you, I suppose. You're welcome, lady. Bye bye. Bye bye, says Felicia. Stop hitting on Emmy. Parentheses impossible. The bride's gone to the chapel. Is everything all right, Professor Sycamore? Oh, yes. I was just wondering where the groom was, that's all. Well, he's probably waiting for her there. That's what usually happens, isn't it? Why is Sycamore sus... ...of a wedding chapel? That must be the chapel! Let's go see for ourselves! Me, 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 me. Boop, 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 beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks a bit haunted, actually. It appears we've made it in time for the wedding ceremony that we weren't invited to and are crashing because we're trying to steal something from the town. Something's not right, though. There seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle going on. Sage Shepherd, wait. Hear me speak but once more. This nightmare tortures me, consumes my soul. Why must you push her through the chapel door? Why must Romilda face such misery? 
I beg, sage shepherd, close that chapel door. My fair Romilda merits not this fate. Julian, stop it, would you? Romilda, though you say this is your will, it surely cannot be what you desire. Deny this custom and refuse its aim. Listen, I'm happy. I want to be the Dragon Lord's bride. I'm happy, all right? I, uh... Yeah. I guess this is it. Goodbye, Julian. I know it doesn't seem like it now, but you'll be happy again someday. I know it. I like her standing in front of the windmill. That was fun. Romilda, this cannot... Today, we witness the union of Romilda and the mighty Dragon Lord. A union that will bless our village with fair winds. Come, fair winds, bring your blessed breezes to bear upon our village. It is time to seal this union. Close the chapel door. This puzzle sucks, Professor. Mr. and Mrs. XX Dragon Lord XX. Sage Shepherd, please undo what you have done. Unfortunately, there's no control Z on these doors. The wedding ceremony is concluded. Mewl and cry all you like, dear boy, but know that nothing will change. Romilda is now the Dragon Lord's wife. Romilda! Dear sweet Romilda! The youth of today. Hmm. It's like they've never been to a sacrifice before. Looks as though a wedding ceremony's finished. Yeah, when they stand on the right, they're perfectly framed up with that windmill, and it just looks kind of funny. Hmm. It is a shame you couldn't take any wedding photographs after following the bride all the way here. What we just saw was not a wedding, Aurora. Oh? No, something's very wrong here. We should talk to the man in the blue gown and find out what's going on. What's going on? Did I say? Yep. Nice. Ah, whole written windmill. Yeah. Yep. 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 Hoo hoo! Take a deep breath, young lady. Taste that fresh breeze. Feel the fair winds on your face. In and out. Deep breaths, young lady. Deep breaths. Oh. I don't like this horny old man. Uh, no idea it was a real song. <laughs> it is very much a real song. Praise the praise be. Romilda's a really pretty lady. I reckon the Dragon Lord's bound to be happy now. Hmm. Bless you, travelers. Thank you for visiting our village. The ceremony is now over, but please stay a while and just enjoy the local area. Don't even try to hide the fact that they're a cold village. No. No, they're like, welcome. I'm glad you can make it for our cult nonsense. I was rather hoping to ask you about that ceremony we just witnessed. I was planning on taking some photographs, but that wasn't like any wedding I've ever seen. What? Emmy's fucking pissed. <laughs> photographs of Romilda? Well, I'm afraid it's a little late for that, dear girl. Romilda's now married to the Dragon Lord. Her soul shall soon depart this chapel to blow as a fair wind through our village. Her soul shall depart? You mean she will die? You've sacrificed her. How could you do such a thing? My dear ladies, you witnessed the vicious whirlwind that struck the village moments before the ceremony, did you not? Yes, its force was quite frightening. Never seen anything like that before. That whirlwind was a manifestation of the Dragon Lord's wrath. It is to appease this wrath that we present the Dragon Lord with a bride from the village. It is a bride's duty to relinquish her human form and become a gentle breeze, blessing our village for so long as it may last. The Dragon Lord is very, very, very horny, so... So she is going to die. This is unacceptable. Open that door right meow. Absolutely not. This ceremony's been held in this village since time immemorial. Since, like, the 80s. 
Do you truly think we'd allow some pure out tourist girl to come along and ruin everything by opening the chapel door? I would advise you to forget what you've seen here, dear girl. Forget all about this village and enjoy the rest of your trip. Ugh. Her sacrifice will appease the Dragon Lord for minutes at least. Maybe even five minutes. Look how thick the door is. That's no chapel, it's a prison. And though the man implied this is an ancient ceremony, I find it hard to believe there's a connection to the Azran in this. This isn't the time to think about the Azran, Professor. What about that poor bride? If we don't find a way into that chapel, she's gonna die in there. We can worry about the egg later. Hmm. Stay calm, Emmy. I understand how you feel. We, we should first consider our options before doing anything rash. But Professor sick of... Everyone, please, listen. I sense it. I can sense the force of the Aura Stone. It's coming from inside the chapel. Hmm? Does this mean... There is more. There's another force inside this chapel. Something more powerful than the egg. Something related to the Azran? Surely this chapel was built long after the demise of the Azran. How can the two possibly be connected? I don't know. Well, there must be some connection, or I wouldn't be sensing something here otherwise. I'm kicking the door down! Either way, I still think that bride is our top priority. At least now we have two reasons to find a way into the chapel. I suppose you're right. It might be Napoleon. Let's start by asking around the village for some information. Hopefully someone can point us in the right direction. Emmy's just gonna walk over and kick open that door. Uh, okay. Hoogland! Land of the Hoogs is a home to a disturbing custom in which a young lady from the village is selected to be the Dragon Lord's bride and locked up in the local chapel as part of their quote-unquote wedding ceremony. Why on earth do they persist with such a tradition? The people of Hoogland seem to think that the whirlwinds affecting their village are the work of a certain Dragon Lord. Hmm. You Hoogland? You boys best not be Hoogland. Remember someone who can, we can all be proud of. I have never seen a bride so willing to serve the village. Good on her, I say. You really think she's serving the village, sir? Of course she is. How could locking someone up in a chapel make the slightest bit of difference to how windy it is around here? Oh, I always thought you traveling types were a bit dim. What do you want from me? A, sci a scientific explanation? But the bride dies. Don't you realize what you're doing is wrong? Try to imagine something for me, boy. Imagine living in a place where only fair winds bring happiness, where wrathful winds can destroy everything in a flash. B but This is a, mil a milling village. We need the wind to survive. The Dragon Lord provides us with that wind, so we must appease him. We know how precious life is. We know that better than anyone, all right? That's why we offer our life to the Dragon Lord. It's the most precious thing we can offer. That's no kind of reason at all. You're just murderers. You know what, young lady, if you don't like it, maybe you should just get out of our village. Leave us here with Romilda's blessed breeze, filling our lungs, bringing us happiness. In and out. Sacrificing people to try and make life better for the village. Did people really take superstitions this far, Emmy? All I know is that happiness should never come at the expense of someone else's life. Anyone who believes otherwise is just deluding themselves. Yeah. Hey, dull, Emmy. Luke, you just saw it. Ugh, tourists. Simply forget all you have seen. Continue your journey. Enjoy your sightseeing. Though if you do wish to take a photograph of me before you depart, I would, of course, be more than happy to oblige. Where are you going? Go back. Time to kill all the men. Now the wedding's over, you're gonna take my photograph, right? Romilda's being sacrificed, and all you care about is having your photo taken? Unbelievable. So you're saying you're not gonna take one? You meanie. Look. The only one who could do anything about Romilda is Romilda herself, and she's married to the Dragon Lord now. Hmm. The Dragon Lord does exist, you know. He's really real. This town's great. Whoa! She's looking at that sandwich. Me when I look at a sandwich. Uh, uh, sandwich puzzle. I can't believe that silly Romilda stopped to talk to Julian in front of the chapel. The Dragon Lord will have been irked, I'm sure. Excuse me, madam. I wonder if I could trouble you for a few details concerning Julian and Romilda. He just goes to a different school. In another country. You wouldn't have met him. 
goodness me, no! I can't talk about something like that with someone from outside the village. We saw them both talking outside the chapel. Embarrassing they are. How dare they act like that? Their antics always were a disgrace to the whole village. Appalling. Do you really think so? Well, of course I do. Who wouldn't? Don't you think it's more appalling that you're carrying on with these outrageous ceremonies? Sticking your nose into village business, are you? Want to know all about our customs? I assure you, madam, we're simply... Planning to write a big article about us, I bet. I've seen you journalist types before, always sniffing around. We're not sniffing around for anything. We just want to find out more about the chapel so we can go and rescue Romilda. Be quiet, will you? We will not talk of such things. Who do you think you are strolling in here trying to change our way of life? I demand that you leave this instant. If it weren't for this puzzle I need solving... Let me f help you with that puzzle so you can kick me out of the village. How many journalists have they disappeared? Right? Pampering your pets. You've decided to get some to give some treats to your pets who all like different things, but you've forgotten which each each animal likes. I I can't help but notice that they're like you you're giving your pets some treats and the touch screen is showing a cupcake, a bar of chocolate, ice cream and fucking pie. Seems like a bad idea. These villagers suck. You're sure that A likes ice cream or chocolate, B likes pie or ice cream, C likes pie or chocolate, A or D is the ice cream fan. You've no idea which pet likes cake. Chocolate for dogs. Which of these do you bring to a barbecue? All of the above. It's the last treat ever. Don't give those to your pets. Give each pet their favorite treat. Okay. So A likes ice cream or chocolate. This sucks. Ice cream or chocolate. B likes pie or ice cream. C likes pie or chocolate. A or D is the ice cream fan. You've no idea which pet likes cake. Mm-hmm. Let's say A likes ice cream. B likes pie. C likes chocolate. D likes... That's just the first answer for everyone. Oh my god, the eyes. Oh, that's ominous. Well, I have no reason to right. think this is I'm wrong. All set. I'm in top form today. What kind of puzzle was this? We have a poll. I, I literally just went with the first option for everyone. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. They they have they have um they have uh, they've kidnapped people and dressed them up in animal outfits and they only feed them dessert. Is that worse than if they just had like cats and dogs they're feeding chocolate? I don't they kind of they're all, it's kind of all bad. Hate this cult village. Uh it turns out the pets weren't pets at all just as well really. Not one of those treats is suitable for animals. So they knew. They just I don't want to help Beatrix. I had a feeling you'd be able to help me. You journalists are supposed to be good at giving people what they want. I'm sure you'll refuse to believe me, but we're really not journalists. Madam, please, we only wish to gain a better understanding of what took place here in the village today. All right, all right, you've got honest eyes. I'll tell you what's going on. You, Professor Layton, you're a man with honest eyes. Smash cut to Layton's vacant fucking eyes. His eyes that are just perfect circles. With nothing in them. 07, enjoy your time out. Uh, also, there was, there was a, a poll redeem in case you missed it just a minute ago. If you could do it for me. Which do you bring to a barbecue? Korean. A KBBQ? Ice cream pie, chocolate cupcakes, vanilla extract. Thank you, Anster. You're the best. I'll tell you what's going on. Romilda and Julian were engaged to be married, you see. They've been going out for years. So Beatrix cares more about the town than outsiders, but she just can't get enough of that gossip, so... She's like, okay, you win. I'm chugging that extract. Probably should do it. Uh... 
Leighton and Aurora aren't allowed to get the info because of their cursed eyes. Oh, no. A lovely couple they were. I'm sure they'd have been very happy together if it weren't for this ceremony business. This village lives in fear of the Dragon Lord, you see. That's why we make the sacrifices. I know the very idea of it is awful. Where is Julian now? You'll probably find him near his windmill. I warn you now, though, the poor boy will be nigh on inconsolable. Many thanks for your assistance, Miss Beatrix. Now you better move along. People will get sus if they see me talking to you. Let's head to Julian's windmill. We need to have a word with him. I hope we get the egg and that makes them mad. And then we get to leave. Korean ice cream. Gochujang flavored ice cream. Tremendous trumpet! Hooray. These sails sort of look a little scary when you stood right under them. Moving huge sails like these, the power of nature is magnificent. These windmills are even more impressive up close. I can hunt corn. Bingsu, like shaved ice. Is Bingsu shaved ice in Korean? I just know from my my I don't really know any Korean, but in, in Mandarin, Bing can also refer to things being cold or icy. So that's kind of fun if it's similar. Oh! Dog. It isn't Chinese. Right. Bing Su. Gotcha. Red. Bing chilling. Cuddly Corgi! Alright. This town is slightly redeemable. They have a good dog. But the rest of the town's gotta go. Oh, they shaved the milk. Swaying signpost. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. There's something over here. Oh, the butterfly. It had a puzzle in it. Shit. Burn the town. Take the, 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 the goose and dog. This place is brave enough for the cold. Yeah. Look over there. Emmy a butterfly. Ooh, you know, I know a great way to track butterflies. Try this, Luke. She's dumps him into a fucking vata jam. And he walks towards it. I'm sticky. Golden butterfly. Here are three different syrups. Oh my god, we're making Luke sticky. There are three different syrups that have a different level of sweetness. When mixed together correctly, they make a special concoction that can lure a golden butterfly. Making the concoction is something of a delicate art, though. If it's too sweet, it'll attract bees! If it's not sweet enough, the only insect that'll be interested is the green beetle. Using at least one measure of each syrup, so you can get just the right balance to lure in the elusive golden butterfly. Sly and green to the beaker add a measure to the concoction is five times to finish the concoction. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Uh, okay. So... Maybe this is it. The professor's apprentice saves the day. That's pretty easy. <laughs> It's okay. This one attracts the bee. This one attracts the beetle. This one attracted the butterfly, but not enough. So one of each, and then the rest of it was pretty simple. You finally laid eyes on the magnificent golden butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? I love a lady with a proboscis. Ah, butterfly is so close, I could just reach out and grab it. We'll be grooming little fingers. What would you do with it? Butterflies don't exactly make the best pets, you know. Got him. Fucking body. To fuck up the village. I mean, it's just that the puzzles in these games always have a cast of characters that show up in the puzzles. This one's just got a weird amount of animal people running around. Julian, I presume. You. You were outside the chapel, were you not? I fear I have no time for idle chat. Why not? What are you doing? If you must know, I wish to lick my wounds. Romilda, the parting is such bitter sorrow. I don't believe it. Romilda's life is in danger, and all I can do is stand around moping. Did you not hear the words that left her lips? She gladly weds the wrathful dragon lord. Aside, she cast me in a darkness deep. No greater, clearer sign can e'er she show. 
For me, she holds no will, no need, no love. You don't really believe that, do you? Oh. Uh, oh, 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 woe is me. 36% of chat say they bring vanilla extract to the barbecue. Followed by pie at 31%, and then a steep decline of cupcakes, 18%. Korean ice cream, 12%, 3% chocolate. Gonna have a sweet barbecue. Poor Julian has just endured a genuinely harrowing experience. Emmy, I doubt we'll be able to reason with him right away. But Professor, what could you know about abruptly having your one true love snatched away? In a most horrendous circumstance, Professor. You don't know anything about that, do you? Our apologies, Julian. Romilda. Gentle, sweet Romilda. Look, Julian, why don't you come with us to rescue her? There may still be time if we go to the chapel straight away. <laughs> Wait, so you go to KBBQ, and you're you grilling, like, you're like, you're like, like, strips of beef and pork and stuff. And then you dip it in vanilla extract. Oh, that'd be so bad. But with keen eyes, the chapel, they do watch. And Shepard surely shall not let us in. All is futile. Did, did that happen? Um. If you want to have a really, really bad time, uh, go, go, go watch either my VODs of Unwound Future or just watch the compilation of all the cutscenes and plot. Because, um... Layton's got a tragic backstory, and, and uh, Unwound Future just repeatedly gut punches you until you're sobbing on the floor. It's it's real bad. I beg you, strangers, leave me be. Be gone, for I am not the hero you require. Things sure didn't happen. Julian is going to need a little more time to pull himself together, it seems. How is he so positive? Puzzles. Puzzles keep him going. Unwound Future's still the best ammo. Unwound Future's real good. Watch the bots in this. Hope you enjoy them. First time I played, it didn't quite hit right. That's interesting. I feel like I'm on. I, I feel like I'm on future. You could play first, and it's like you you understand the characters' archetypes very quickly, right? Like this prequel trilogy is the only real overarching plot of Layton. The first three don't have strong connections to each other. These three combined do tell a cohesive story. It's not that complicated. It's just like a couple recurring characters. And it's like, oh, look, the Azran. It all comes together now. Except Flora. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. In that case, we'll just have to find a way into the chapel by ourselves. Mostly Flora. My thoughts, exactly. But it's like Don Paolo showing up. It's like, dude just shows up as villain of the week. It's a little bit different than, than like, Descale and Tarjant, who seem to have these other motives going on. Um, all right. Well... No. No, you. The movie is vital. You're still here, I see, young lady. You know if you like the village so much, you could always get married here. I despise this man. I thought I liked him when I first saw him. To be frank, I find your village utterly disgusting. Boom! That's why Emmy's the best. I hope she shows up in New World of Steam. They, at, at best, I'm, I'm thinking we might get a reference. I don't think she'll show up, but it'd be great if she shows up. Woo! Looks like it's true what they say about big city girls. Rude, spoiled, and empty-headed. Hmm. People around here grow up tough, see? It's not just the wind. There's all the geological subsidence, too. The geological subsidence. I think they built their village on top of, like, poison. I thought the mushroom village had it rough. I think, I think this, this man has been poisoned every day of his life. Hold on. Geological subsidence? Do you mean to say that the whirlwinds are not the only natural disasters you have to contend with here? Uh, pretty sharp, aren't you, Top Hat? The land's full of holes. There have been lots of accidents over the years. The base of the hill where the chapel stands now is especially bad. You have to fill in hole after hole to build a house around here? Round, round there? The hill where the chapel stands? That's right. The whole thing is riddled with holes and tunnels all the way around. Building around there is a real nightmare. That's why everything's so higgledy-piggledy up here, see? And that's why you city types can't handle it. Is that so? Many thanks for all the information, sir. Your words have been most enlightening. Oh, always happy to help. Not to boast or anything, but there's no one who knows more than me about this village. Okay, when did the murders start? 
That was pretty interesting, wasn't it, Professor? Who'd have thought the chapel would be surrounded by tunnels? A surprising revelation indeed. Surely it is no coincidence the chapel was built in such a spot. I believe there's an extremely high possibility that one of those tunnels will lead directly to the chapel's interior. Why did the... We know why. Well, about 13 years ago now. So about 13 years ago, my wife was nagging me something fierce, and then a gust of wind blew open the door, and I thought, oh, I could solve both problems at once. Mm-hmm. Well, really. But I can't see any holes or tunnels from here, Professor. Say, why don't we take a look at the other side of the hill, over near that forest? Perhaps there's some tunnels over there. A fine idea. I mean, my only concern is that we may get lost among the trees if we head there without a guide. I bet Julian knows his way through the forest, but he's probably still too upset to help us at the moment. You may be right, Luke. Let's continue our investigation. Perhaps we will discover something that will motivate him to help us. All the brides made a village underground because the men suck shit. Yeah. Underground lesbian commune. Go! Underground lesbian commune. Underground lesbian commune. Lesbians underground. I'm ready to have my photograph taken any time. Do it now before you run into camera film. I mean, Ramona's turned into wind, so you can't take any photographs of her. It's gotta be my turn now, eh? Nuke, you make it really hard to be nice sometimes. <laughs> Are the corpses plugging up a hole? Mm-hmm. That's what stops the wind. It's just a pile of bodies. And locking someone in a chapel is supposed to turn them into wind, is it? Now you don't think it's true. Well, it is. The bride turns into wind. Everyone knows that. I've even got proof. When the ceremony's over, see, and everyone's forgotten all about old shepherd opens the door. And the only thing that's left behind in the chapel is the bride's wedding dress. I saw it with my own two eyes. Underground naked lesbian commune. Things are escalating. Her wedding dress? That's right, lady. Well, not just the dress, the shoes, the veil, all that stuff. Just lying in a pile on the floor. Which means the bride's turning to wind. There's no other explanation, is there, eh? Ba ba ba. So the brides disappear completely, bones and all. He kinda wanna think about what happens to that chapel. Don't be silly, Luke. We have to find out what happens to those women. I have a horrible feeling that someone is watching us. That's probably just fucking Raymond from the ship. It's okay, Aurora. You've got nothing to worry while I'm around. I'll kick him. We'll only arouse further suspicion if we start to act rashly. Let's collect a bit more information, then go and talk to Julian. You son of a bitch. If only the Gardens of Babylon were down there. Yeah, because then we'd be able to control the weather. You appear rather downhearted, Sage Shepherd. To serve the Dragon Lord is my calling, but when my work is done, I'm but human. I weep just like any other. Don't expect us to feel sympathy for you. Still, it's not easy to see a man so racked with guilt. No, oh, mighty Dragon Lord, grant me your assistance. These strangers have come to torment my soul. You're the tormentor around here, locking away all those so-called brides. I have locked no one away. Each one of the Dragon Lord's brides has entered the chapel willingly, with joy in their, in their heart. Joy? I must admit I find that hard to believe. This is ridiculous. There's no way all those women entered willingly. What about Romilda? I saw her going to the chapel. She didn't look the least bit joyful. But did she seem afraid? I assure you, she was not. She proceeded of her own volition. Hers was a sacrifice we can all admire. I do understand your point of view, believe me. Even I sometimes wish to put an end to this tradition. The man appears to be rather conflicted in his own particular way. Conflicted or not, his beliefs and actions make him a dangerous man. We cannot allow him to cause any more harm. She must have known she was going to die. She must have been afraid, and yet she kept all that emotion buried. It's terrible. Hmm. I wonder, what if the brides truly aren't afraid of going into the chapel? What do you mean, Professor? I think I understand what you're getting at. We may have been laboring under a significant misapprehension. Indeed. Though we cannot be certain yet, of course. Oh dear. I don't understand this. This village, their traditions, I just don't understand what's happening here. I know what you mean. Everything we've seen and heard so far has been very troubling. Sometimes it gets real windy. It's annoying. Therefore, sacrifice. 
Indeed, a number of unsettling incidents have taken place here. There may yet be an unexpected explanation, however. Oh? What kind of explanation, Professor? All I can say is that we should not sink into despondency just yet. Certainly not before we have a word with this fine lady, at least. Fine lady? Professor, do you mean... Ah, there you are. Beatrix! Just keep your voice down, will ya? Just thought you should know I went to see her, that stubborn little minx. Her? Surely you don't mean Romilda. Honestly, pipe down, will ya? Of course, Romilda! Who else would I be talking about? The brides escape from the chapel after the ceremony, don't they, madam? What? How do you know that? Well, you just told me. As soon as I heard the bride's clothes were left behind, I started to wonder. I thought perhaps someone would be waiting with a change of clothes for the bride, allowing them to escape. Oh, it's you, isn't it, Beatrix? You're the one who helps them. Women here have been doing it for generations. It's the perfect way to leave the village. The men have no idea. Okay, this town... The, the town still sucks. If it's so bad that the women for generations need to get out. The town still sucks, but it but it's kind of amazing now as well. Beatrix is everything. It is a lesbian commune. It is. She's the boss lesbian. I just got here. Hey, welcome. Um, the the chapel. So this town gets windy, and so uh, they sacrifice women to the dragon lord. They claim controls the weather. So they've been sacrificing women for generations, locking them up in the chapel where they die. And we've learned that instead, they're just they're just like this town sucks. I want to leave. And that's why they, the women have been doing this for generations. Seems like a fuck ton of effort. Uh, uh, Ramilda's escaped as well, has she? I told you to keep your voice down. Actually, I'm having a little trouble with that at the moment. She didn't want to marry Julian, but couldn't break up with him. It's pretty rough. She's stubborn, you see. Stubborn and stupid. She must really believe she's calming the Dragon Lord's wrath up there in that chapel. Surely not. You'd think that seeing me wander in there would change things, but now she's more determined and stubborn than ever. Really don't know what's gotten into her. None of the girls caused a fuss like this back in the day. Look, Beatrix, will you tell us the route you took into the chapel? What's the point? If she won't listen to me, I doubt she's going to listen to some fancy pants strangers. In that case, we shall require some assistance from Julian. Julian? Why him? He loves Romilda with all his heart. If there was anyone she would listen to, it would be him. Hmm. I... I suppose you're right. Though it does feel a bit strange to think of a man using the secret forest path to the chapel. Isn't she trying to escape Julian? Why would that... It's the right thing to do. Listen carefully. You need to follow these steps exactly. Pick two mushrooms, then one strawberry. Repeat until you reach the other side. Don't walk down any path twice. Every girl in the village knows those steps off by heart. Follow them to the letter or you'll never find the entrance tunnel. Thanks, Beatrix. Got the dash. You lot shouldn't hang around here too long either. People will start to talk. Let's go and see Julian. Hopefully we can persuade him to help us. What you have to do when you get sacrificed since you can't just show up again? Or really didn't get the memo. Oh. I, th I thought it was the women going, wow, the men really suck in this town. Here's a great way to get the fuck out. Oh, I just want to look at that dog again. Yeah, look at him! Look at him, woo! She just thought she'd get to fuck a dragon. Julian, you've got to help us rescue Romilda. Come on. You're here again. I thought I made it clear that all such efforts will accomplish naught. We have new information. There is a tunnel that will lead us straight into the chapel. Its entrance is on the other side of the forest. This is your chance, Julian. You can save your beloved Romilda. What? Fair Romilda. Yes, beloved Romilda, rescue you, I will. Not so loud. You don't want the whole village to know what we're up to, do you? No, fair maid, this is not what I want. Let us pass words within the windmill here, lest cruel winds carry them to prying ears. Well, he certainly seems to have a spring in his step again. That boy ain't right. Indeed, and long may it continue. Please, time so fleeting does not but escape. Pray come inside with haste so we may speak. Very well, in we go. This guy annoys me. Yeah. 
He's a hopeless romantic. What the fuck is that? You cooking an egg? Julian appears to have built a wind powered bread maker. Ingenious. This man talks in iambic pentameter. Get him. Does the windmill control the oven temperature too? Oh shit. This is how I spent my quarantine. Whoop, into the garbage. See, you don't you don't you don't eat the bread? Heavens no. I just like to make it. I just can't get enough of that fresh bread smell. Infinite bread glitch. Developers hate this one trick. Massive cog wheel. Yeah, his name is Julian. His dog is written in an iambic pentameter. It's fucked up. Julian has been hiding puzzles here, has he? I can't believe you do this. Fresh bread smells good. It is. Troubled waters. The bridge across the river has been destroyed in a storm. A man has fallen into the river in Leighton City, leaving the local villagers stranded. Can you help them create a makeshift bridge out of scrap materials? Move and rotate the various pieces of scrap and get the makeshift bridge completed as quickly as possible. Be aware that pieces of the old bridge are blocking the river. You won't be able to dump the scrap material in some places. Uh, uh, uh. Wait until it's fixed. Send. I'm not qualified to fix a bridge. Um. Okay, so I can't... I can't put stuff where, where these are, or... I'm not- I'm not sure I understand the premise of this puzzle. I can't rotate. Um... Okay. Sure. Uh, ro rotate, you fucking... Uh, uh, uh. Just dump a bunch of garbage into the river. Nature is this healing. is how it's done. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Scraptastic. Oh, God, that's a terrible idea. It'll be good to get the real bridge back in action as soon as possible. Yeah, you think? The first truck would go onto it, and then it would just fucking <laughs> just go into the river. Yeah. Pile. Praise be. Well, that's that puzzle done. I do hope Julian wasn't saving it for a rainy day. You did what? My puzzle. No. Yeah, get it. Yeah, get Yeah, fuck it up. Bam. Middlestone. Middle stone. Uh, looks like this cupboard is where all the essentials are kept. I bet Julian sits up here sometimes while he waits for the bread to bake. Oh, oh there are several boxes of tea up there, if I'm not mistaken. Good. Most, most good. Excellent. Uh, all right, wait, 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 okay. Do you think Emmy's a clip on bow tie, a real one? I think it's a clip on. Because then if it becomes undone while she's roundhouse kicking people, she can pop it back on real easily. It's good to see you in high spirits, Julian. Clip it on so you can go from her hair bow to a necktie. It's tactical. Oh. So she'll be like, bam, 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 bam. My spirits rise. My spirits rise, but fear still clings on tight. Please tell me quickly of this forest path. It's not quite iambic pentameter. But it's kind of close. Of course! Though we must remain vigilant as we go through the forest, the earth beneath our feet could crumble at any moment. Be not concerned, comrades, for I shall lead. No man knows the land better than this swain. It is? Is this a shovel which I see before me, the handle toward the wall? Come, let me clutch thee. Is this a shovel which I see before me? The handle toward the wall, come let me clutch thee. Oh, you might be right. The Scottish play. 
You, you can say Macbeth. I'm, this isn't a theatrical production. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to bring the, the, the fucking superstition to a stream. Just a moment, Julian. We haven't even explained the route yet. It is when I'm here. <laughs> Superstitious theater kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, th there's a superstition that you shouldn't say Macbeth inside of a theater. We have to be safe, just in case. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, fuck, my leg! Ah! The roots! Ah, yes, the roots of which you spoke. Perhaps you could illuminate me now. The Scottish Yard. Mm-hmm. Pick two mushrooms, then one strawberry. Repeat till you reach the other side, and don't walk down any path twice. Hard to shake the superstition. It's just funny. <laughs> Though it eludes me how you know such things, I have no time and no desire to ask. Onwards! I must learn of Romilda's feelings true. I need to hear of them with mine own ears. I am sure you will have the opportunity to talk to her at length about such matters. This dilly-dally serves for naught, kind sir. Let us make haste, for fair Romilda waits. We should all agree to say Macbeth in a theater wherever possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like building up a tolerance to poison. Alert me when you're prepared to go, then the trail to Romilda we shall take. I'm ready. Hmm. Funny till Mike stamp bops you. I'm just gonna I'm gonna raise this up above my head and say Macbeth. Macbeth! Oh god! Wow. Smash. No, I'm dead. Your preparations are complete, good news. Romilda love, we make our way to thee. I want to, I want to, I want to, um, uh, uh, go to a theater and then walk underneath a ladder while spilling, knocking over a thing of salt. And just be like, Macbeth, Macbeth, we make our way to thee. Julian, there's something I need to tell you. Pray tell, good sir, what need you say to me? We have a long and difficult journey ahead of us. If something happens along the way, you need to be prepared to go and rescue Romilda alone. What mic do I use? It's a Shure SM7B. I have all my, my hardware stuff in the FAQ, if you're ever interested. On on the Twitch About section of the thing. And Smash a Warrior Mirror. And Step on Every Crack. Mm hmm A lot of superstition stuff like that is all silly, but the superstition about walking under ladders is just good advice. You, If you've ever been in, like, a setting where there's people going up and down ladders, you should not walk under a ladder. Sometimes people leave stuff on top of ladders. They can not be secured. Like, it's just a smart thing to do. <laughs> it's like, it's not really superstitious. It's just kind of common sense. Yeah, you also probably shouldn't break mirrors. Is it bad luck? No, but it kind of sucks, and you got to be careful. Sup, Ed? McBeetlejuice. McBeetlejuice? The Scottish film. But if I slide into, like, a cool guy, then you're safe. Then, then you get plus three extra good luck. Opening umbrellas inside. Yeah, you can poke someone. Hello. The Scottish stream. <laughs> Black cats are actually ginger? Wait, what? Black cats are actually ginger cats? Also, if black cats are, are bad luck, then god damn it, give me all the bad luck. Black cats are delightful. No one wants to deal with that. Yeah. Pretty much. Do not falter, Julian. Once people are gone, they cannot come back, no matter how much you want them to. Fear not, kind sir, for my Romilda sweet. I happily will go to any length. But hark, the trees we seek lie up ahead. The way may be unclear, but I'll be strong. My feelings for Romilda as my guide, I shall cut through the forest. Uh, until... Until I find a hole. A hole into the chapel, yes. I foresee it shall be a steep drop. But I need only leap down and... On second thoughts, it may be best to make sure Julian stays with us. We don't need another missing person to worry about. I agree, the poor man's probably gonna get himself stuck in a ditch if we leave him to it. Beal just a Broadway show now? Oh. In FF12, the godly being things speak an iambic pentameter. Vanat speaks an iambic tetrameter, speaking to a different rhythm from those they left. Hmm. He's take seven years to replace a broken one. That's like if you eat a watermelon seed, it'll take... It'll, oh no, if you swallow gum, it'll take seven years to pass through you. Which, even if you're a child, if you think about that for ten seconds, you'd be like, huh, that doesn't... That doesn't make you probably just shouldn't swallow gum. It's probably not good for you. Uh, come on, Julian. We'll help you find the route through the forest. Such joyous news. Now follow, everyone. We'll find that entrance in no time at all. Romilda, my sweet, we make haste for thee. Well, you can't fault his enthusiasm. 
The singer for Beetlejuice looks like me. <laughs> Out of makeup, right? <laughs> just gonna show me a picture of Beetlejuice in makeup? It looks just like you! Oh, thank thanks, chat. <laughs> Fruits and fun guy! Our love-struck hero Julian must leave everyone, lead everyone through this forest and into the chapel. One wrong turn, though, they'll be hopelessly lost. Luckily, late in the others know a trick to making it through. Pick two mushrooms, then one strawberry. Repeat till you reach the other side. Don't walk down any path twice. Help Julian find the secret path through the forest. Make make it to the other side in one piece. Bartle juice. New emote. Some a beard and hair situation. Never thought of beetle juice as being bearded. Plot your route to the exit by touching the strawberries and mushrooms you will collect along the way. Can't travel the same path twice. Can't pick up the same amount twice either. All right. So it's uh, two mushrooms then a strawberry. Oh yeah. Uh, um, mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Oh, there it goes. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. M m mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Uh, mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom. Maybe I should work backwards. Strawberry. M mushroom. Let's work backwards. Um. Uh. Here's just opening night. Okay, I kind of see it. I see what you're saying. I see it. More scruffy than fully bearded. Right, yes. All right, okay, all right. I've got it. As far as any white man with brown hair and beard looks like Barry. We're all the same person. The truth has come out. Now you know my secret. Uh, Strawberry. Oh, I can't go backwards. Great, I'll memo it. Um, Strawberry. Mushroom. Mushroom. Strawberry. Um, could do mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom. That's it. I've done it. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Wait. Strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Mushroom, mushroom, strawberry, mushroom, mushroom, strawberry. Done! Right, I'm all set. Strawberry! Stick them up! Top form today. This is a strawberry. 2018! What a great year. That's it! Joe and the others have made it through the forest into the chapel's secret entrance. Good work. Let him go. What a jovial step he is taking. This must be the entrance that Beatrix was talking about. A tunnel here in midst of trees and hills? The light of the Azrian, it's getting stronger. Well, in that case, we better hurry. Oh, pumpkin. Um, this tunnel sucks. A bottle gourd? In a tunnel? It's preposterous. A bottle gourd in a tunnel? In present year? <laughs> now it's a... What in the world? Alas, our trail is blocked by boulders great. But this must be the path that Beatrix took. What happened here? The passage has collapsed. Beatrix took quite a risk in coming through here. We've got to do something to move these rocks out of the way, Professor. We'll never make it to the chapel. Stand back, fair maid. I shall take care of this. With spade in hand, I'll clear the path of rocks. Okay, do it. Oh. Okay. Is this a puzzle? Hmm. 
Moving boulders is no easy task. Sniff, sniff. That sound, is that? I'm sorry, Julian. Sweet joy to true Romilda, she still breathes. Let's hurry. Romilda's sad. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh, um. This chamber sucks. This is indeed an Azran construction. There's no doubt about it. Who would have thought there'd be something like this hidden all the way down here? It, uh, uh, chat. All right, well, good stream. I gotta go. See you guys later. Too much fan service in this game. Romilda, Romilda, where are you, Romilda? Ah. This is a big dramatic scene, but I'm glad her little squirrel friend could be like, You're missing a secret here. Me. Meep, meep. You found the secret. Quickest hourglass. The quickest hourglass is just a bucket of sand. Begin the timer. <laughs> Time's up. I don't like the way they're looking at me. So none of these are things to look at. Okay. Seemed like there'd be more more things to poke at with the stylus. Alright, what, what's up? What the description says. Oh, Romilda! Julian! What are you doing here? I only just fucking realized their names are Romeo and Juliet. Romilda and Julian. I, ju I just put that together. I even, I even picked up on him speaking in like Elizabethan Shakespearean dialect and talking about iambic pentameter. Put that together like an hour ago. But I only just thought about their names like that. That's fucking bad. That's why he's doing the AIMs. I, I, I just thought, I didn't even think about it like that. I just thought of it as like, oh, they're setting him up to be this like overly romantic figure. So he's speaking this exaggerated Shakespearean kind of dialect. Because he's like, oh, my poor Romilda, where are thee? Oh, my heart pines for thee. Like, that's, that. I, I literally, yeah. Nightmare Fan Cave with Glowy Eyes. Welcome back. Julian's come to rescue, Romilda. That's the one with the gnomes, yes. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet is mostly about gnomes. No, you can't be here. You've got to go. I'm married to the Dragon Lord now. Don't be so naive, Romilda. Listen, we've come all this way to save you. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I... I can't. I'm staying here. Why is she still wearing the wedding dress? My fair Romilda, think of what you do. What sense makes it for you to end your life when you know well this custom is absurd? The Dragon Lord has wed so many times, and nothing changes. Never shall he stop. You surely see that locking people up does not provide us with the peace we seek. Yeah, but... She didn't change what she wear. Cause, cause Beatrix met up with her. She's supposed to be naked. No, I thought Be Beatrix showed up to give her a change of clothes. She said that she m went to her. Even so, it won't be for nothing. You know, if I die, Romilda, please, whatever do you mean? But she denied. I get. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I thought she just uh, denied leaving, but that makes sense. She just denied all of it. Right. Right. You're right. You're right. I'm not going to turn into wind, and I'm not going to run away. I'm going to die here and leave my body behind for everyone to see. Then they'll realize the Dragon Lord doesn't care about these human offerings. Romilda. Don't you get it? If I do this, it'll put a stop to these horrible ceremonies, and the people of Hoogland will finally get some peace. I'm sorry, Julian. This is how it has to be. Uh, I can think of, like, 50 other ways you could prove to the villagers that the Dragon Lord isn't real, but... Like, Emmy's holding a camera at all times. Romilda, no! This ending need not be! Romilda, please! Lo! Here is the idol they worship so! I shall see it gone and our village freed! I thought he was just like, I'm gonna fucking smack you upside the head with a shovel. Oh, he's gonna smash. What?
Mm-hmm. What in the world? Hey, so you know how uh, Aurora keeps being like, I sense a presence, but it's weak. Is she just magnetized? Is she gonna fly up there with the shovel and just stick to the ceiling? Ugh. The purpose of that symbol is to drive away those who would harm the Azran. It lets those who would attempt to interfere with their workings know that their efforts will have no effect. And it shows them by pulling their weapons right out of their hands. Whoa! Good thing all weapons are metallic, eh, Professor? It all makes sense now. This altar, these ruins. What's going on? What are you doing to the Dragon Lord? Romilda, we are about to put an end to the Dragon Lord's wrath, once and for all. You what? Romilda, put your faith in them, my dear. They brought me to this place and wish to help. If we want peace, we must believe them. If not for these good people at my side, we'd not be standing here together now. And never would I have another chance to tell you how I feel. Oh, Julian. That altar holds the key to solving the riddle of the Dragon Lord. It's a mystery. Where was Layton? Just off screen. I'm not leaving. Nah. Mm, puzzle. At least unlike the first three settings, this feels more tied to the Azran. Rather than like, oh, there was just an egg lying around and here it is. You've noticed as well. Although I guess the variety is good. If all of them ended in a secret underground Azran chamber, you'd be like, uh, okay. This Dragon Lord alter it. It is an Azran device designed to manipulate the wind currents in the area. Yes, I had noticed. It is a weather controller. Do I see Hanging Gardens of Babylon? Beep. The way it's set now, though, it seems to be creating a countercurrent that flows directly against the main one. That must be the cause of all the whirlwinds here. The harmony here, it has been disrupted. I wonder if someone has interfered with the control panel. I doubt the Azran intended to leave it like this. Then we should do something to fix it. The cylinder should be all, be all be raised so that the light can shine through. I see. Well, Professor, shall we take a look at this control panel then? Let's. These fucking nerds and their puzzles. <laughs> Ooh, I couldn't be giddier about a puzzle. All under control. Romeo and Juliet are in a tomb at their reunion. After thinking one of the other was surely dead. So I'm going to solve this puzzle and they're both going to be dead on the ground? Is that... <laughs> All under control. The control panel for the device has nine buttons. One for every cylinder. Pressing a button activates a total of seven cylinders, starting with the one corresponding to the button press, and then following by every second cylinder in a clockwise direction. To fix the device, Layton must make all nine cylinders visible by pressing a single button. Can you help him choose? You only have, you only have three chances. Good luck. Um... Okay. Three? Three o'clock? Chat's saying three o'clock. Killy did a thing. What Killy do? Thank you, Killy. It's the same picture. Me and Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. Same picture. It's true. Okay. Three chances. Oh. Three chances to guess three three times. Uh. Nine buttons. Pressing a button activates a total of seven cylinders, starting with one corresponding to the button pressed and following by every other in clockwise direction. Just make, make all nine cylinders visible by pressing a single button. Help them choose. Uh, sure. You know, I would love to do that. So, if I hit this one, it would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, if I do this one, wait, this one, that'll go down. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That'll result in them both being down. So, not that. What if I start with this one? Because it goes, it, it, it ends back to from where you start. So, uh,
Hmm. Hmm. Nine slots to 40 spaces move from the start. Mm -hmm. We have three chances to choose one of two options. Oh, no. Yeah, we have three chances to guess before we start to lose pickle rats. First one, then six moves. Yes. There's there's the text again if you want to revisit it. Um, this seems very, very simple. And yet, I'm like... Looping around being like that. How does this work? Definitely three Because my thought was like oh probably you just like press down one and then loop around and press it back up But that's not really how it works Yeah the buttons are down here on the other screen I can make the small screen big. It just doesn't seem useful for this puzzle It's just like which one of these do I start with because I press it and then it'll alternate between up or down Um, Yeah Activates the whole seven, starting the one corresponding, and then followed by every second cylinder in a clockwise direction. Every second is just every other. So, both screens are interesting. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. 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 Equally uninteresting. Memo might help. I mean, maybe. I mean, I can I can rule them out, I guess. Maybe that's faster than just thinking of different ones. If we start with this one, then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's no good. No. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. My god, is it three? I should have just My gone with three. My intuition should serve me well. A satisfying puzzle indeed. My god, it was three. Oh god. Oh no. That's not good. That's probably real bad. Rook, what have you done? I'm not even in the room, I'm standing at the entrance, I'm scared. Rook, what did you touch? Professor, I'm standing far away. That light, what's going on? The imbalance has been rectified and harmony is restored. All is as it should be. And look, it spat out an egg. Are you? Oh, it did spit out an egg. Fancy that. Egg. Acquired. Whoa. Four eggs down, one to go. Whole birth. I mean, well, it burped out an egg. Everything is in its rightful place. That girl, is she the Dragon Lord's messenger or something? Has that which we've accomplished here brought peace? Shall Hoogland now be blessed by tranquil winds? Oh my god, it's the wise and wide. Indeed, I believe that should not put an end to the wrath of the Dragon Lord. Now, how about we return to the surface? You got the escaping. Everything's wide down here. I... This wind! Something unusual has taken place. And something unusual takes place still. Why are there noises coming from inside the chapel? I shall have to open the door and see for myself. What on earth are you doing inside the chapel? Sage Shepherd? The Dragon Lord's most wrathful winds do cease. I tell you, with our triumph comes great joy, for fair Romilda's life has been preserved. What do you mean, dear boy? What has happened? 
The altar in your chapel was built by an ancient civilization. Something caused it to become imbalanced, which in turn caused the harsh winds you've come to know in the village. Fortunately, we were able to fix the issue. Only fair winds will blow through your village from now on. It seems quite simple, really. You could have just gone in there at any time and pressed the button. But instead, you killed women for generations. What? But how? No, it was three. Everything has been restored to how it should be. This fair wind is yours to enjoy. Allow it to heal you. Allow it to spread the seeds of a better future. But it just isn't the same unless you're inhaling bride dust. This wind sucks. Are you... Oh, are you a disciple of the Dragon Lord? Are you not? What have I been doing all this time? I refuse to listen to you. I spent my life defending the village's customs. Goodness knows how many brides I've sacrificed. Well, we wouldn't have been able to resolve the imbalance if Ramilda hadn't gone through with the ceremony. In a way, your final sacrifice did eventually bring peace to the village. Why are you giving him credit for this? Oh, I see. I'm the good... You're welcome! I did it! It was me! I'm the good guy of the story. The whirlwinds that devastated Hoogland were caused by an imbalance in the Azran technology found within the chapel. Restoring the balance has brought an end to the destructive winds and to the wedding ceremonies that appease the non-existent Dragon Lord. I'm glad the people of Hoogland will at last give up this unsavory tradition. An unsavory tradition is like once a year we, we hang up goat meat on the doors of our homes. For, for tidings of a good harvest. They were murdering people. And sure, maybe they escaped, but they thought they were murdering people. That's... That's not unsavory. That's... A bit extreme. Now I want to kill this tradition. This, tra this tradition this rules. The Dragon Lord is real. In debt to you I shall forever be, for were it not for your heroic deeds, this fool would have no love, no home, no peace. I really owe you one. You saved my life. It wasn't for you. Well, I don't even want to think about it. But listen, you won't tell anyone about how Beatrix has been helping the brides, will you? It wouldn't be fair on her, or on all the brides she saved. Fear not, Romilda, it shall be our secret. I'm so glad we were able to get them back together. They look so happy. And we got hold of the egg, too. Talk about two birds with one stone. Or should I say, one egg with one mystery. Indeed, Luke. Let us return to the Bostonius. I don't know what that means, Penguin. Are we in the wind place? We are. We just finished the wind place. Hello, hello. I'm not talking to anyone in this village. I hate them all. Goodbye. I can talk to Beatrix. They must have become wind. It's the only explanation. Thanks for everything. Looks like those two can enjoy a bit of happiness now. So can the rest of the village for that matter. Now we don't have those silly ceremonies to worry about. Life should be much easier around here. In fact, I don't know what I'm going to do with all my free time. Maybe it'll help Sage Shepherd find a wife. Hmm. Yeah, good luck. Can we keep the underground naked lesbian tunnels? It's part of the town tradition. A warm welcome back on board. I trust you breezed through your investigation. Are, are you laughing, Raymond? Is that... Is that how you laugh, Raymond? Death. I wouldn't say it was that easy. We did manage to find the egg and even some Azran technology that still works. Let's leave Raymond here. <laughs> Do you need a doctor? Please get my medicine. My word. Who would have thought it? The winds in this area have calmed as well. Perhaps this village has found peace at last. Simply let me know whenever you're ready to proceed to your next destination. Professor Layton, Emmy. There are some things about the Azran era that have returned to me. Ah, your memories are coming back. Yes, some. I can see a windy valley, and there are thousands of bird-like machines all gliding on the breeze. Sounds as though the Azran had some aircraft of their own. I think they're a kind of aircraft. They carry people and other things, and they keep flying, never stopping to land. It's hard to imagine what sorts of things the Azran must have had. They didn't have any windmills like the ones we saw in Hoogland, though. Those windmills are an example of the creativity of your civilization. Seeing that really made me happy. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the same foot. We're just as creative as the Azrian. You had perpetual motion mas machines and could control the wind and fly forever. And we made some spinny boys that make bread. 
We are the same. Thank you for the hydrate, Kit Kat. That's good to hear, Aurora. They never discovered windmills. I think they pro progressed beyond the need for windmills pretty rapidly. I'd like to suggest we take this opportunity to depart. I believe we have all uh, quite enough of Hooglin's winds for now. Tra la la, we're off. Yeah, who wants to fly when you can have bread from a windmill? I'll pick the bread every time. Everyone's upset. She's supposed to be dead from the Dragon Lord's wife. What's she doing not being dead by Dragon Lord? Burn her at the stake! Ah, job well done. I do say another mystery solved. In the background, you see them building a pyre. What a lovely town. A romancing Romilda! Oh, God. I'm gonna win a staring a contest against that cat if it's the last thing I do. Good luck with that. All right. Time for the final egg. What's not to trust about him? He likes staring at cats. To the Walled City first. Quickly. Jane Somniac, thanks for 42 months. Enjoy your dope. Happy to watch your stream today. It's my birthday. I like to think of it as a birthday present. Hey, happy birthday. Hope you're having a great birthday, Jay. Sorry, I didn't see that right away. Hope you're having a good one. And uh, have a good birthday weekend and all that. Thank you. Venus Varnus, thanks for the dollar redo. And Trouble Wings, thanks for the 69 bits. Nice. You did it. He also likes fucking with the engine. He does. <laughs> Frequently. One more egg. One more egg to the walled city. A city tied to a legend of a great phoenix. High walls surrounded, and the few people who remain there live to guard its secrets. The eggs are to prove a civilization is ready for ascension. Yeah, these people were locking women in a shack to make the wind less mean. Are you sure we're ready? We're definitely not ready, but... I think it's less about obtaining the legacy for ourselves and more about preventing Tarjan from getting it. However, we seem to be setting ourselves up for a... Ah, well done. Oh, thank you. Well done, Leighton. You seem to have obtained all the eggs for me. Thank you. Now it's mine. Tarjan would definitely lock women in a shack. Right. Like, we're, we're going around getting all this stuff. It's like, eh. It's the same as Mother 3. Same game. To the Walt City. Miss Sha, thanks for six months. Hi. Oh. Enjoy your golden key. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for the Prime. Did you know with Prime, you can go to twitch.tv slash onsta and get, and get onsta scamping. Uh, uh, basically for free if you have Amazon Prime. But it doesn't auto-renew, so... Make sure you, uh, you, you don't forget. Get the check-in. This appears to be one of the locations marked on the walls of the Azran Dome. I feel the power of the Azran resonating. There's surely an aura stone here. She do be scamping. The walls of the city do resemble Azran. Yeah. Shouts to Uh, they do resemble Azran architecture. There's a lot to indicate that we're in the right place. Shall we disembark? Hmm. Titans? Oh god, it is a walled city. I mean, it's called the walled city, but yeah, no, this is... The high city walls would suggest that its people wanted to keep others out. A practice wonderfully steeped in history. This bodes well for us as outsiders. Great. Well, this place looks lovely. Is there any game where you have to collect a bunch of MacGuffins to keep them out of the hands of the enemy and the enemy doesn't just steal them from you at the end? And it was their plan all along? It's not just that they steal them, it's the, ah, thank you for doing my work for me. And it's like, how did you know? And they were like, we just thought you would do it. Because you, you had the girl, so we couldn't have done it without you. Sonic. Maybe. Oogie Spooky! With any luck, it won't be long until we have the egg in our possession. In a way, these streets remind me a little of London. Much quieter, though. How sure are we the egg is here again? In the city of Mosinia sleeps the eternal phoenix. Or so the legend goes. Where there's a bird, there's probably an egg. Quickly, we must find the, the cloaca of the phoenix. I wonder if this legend of the phoenix might not be connected to the Azran Riders of the Sky. Not the most scientific theory, but given that the town is enclosed in Azran walls, I'd say it has some merit. 
Well, that's good to hear. But where do we start? There's no one around. Perhaps the city's residents are all indoors. Let's try the nearest house. Nathan Drake falls for it every time. Every time, birds. Mmm, delicious skull. I suppose they use this board to post local notices and the like. One of these posters is advertising for a position in a local shop. The smaller notices seem like private messages. Wonder who they're for. Sleepy clock tower. The tower is sleepy. It's just a sleepy eepy little clock tower. It's time for Betty Bye for the clock tower. I suppose they light these candles when night falls. How on earth did they light the candles all the way up there? I'd worry about hot wax dripping on my head as I walk through here. It's Temple of Doom count? They already have the thingamajigs. Don't they? Don't they? Doesn't Indy and Co... It's been a while since I've seen Temple of Doom. Because Temple of Doom is also an egg MacGuffin hunt. Where they're trying to get those big amber eggs. Right? Don't don't they get their hands on the eggs at some point? Or do they start with them all together and then they grab them? And they, they, and they, they scamp out of there with the egg. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ramens. Never seen Indiana James? You should watch them. The first three movies are real fun. And there's no other ones. This door flaps open every time there's a gust of wind. It's creepy. They should really repair it. Any passerby could see inside. I guess someone forgot to lock it. Short round's the only thing I remember. Short round is a highlight for sure. The whole movie's fun, though. As a kid, uh, Temple of Doom was my favorite. And all the, like adults and older kids and stuff whenever Indiana Jones came up I'd always be like, Temple of Doom, that's the worst one. You have terrible taste. And I was like, oh. Nowadays, I think Raiders is my favorite indie. I still like Temple of Doom. It's just a big, dumb, schlocky pulp adventure story. It's great. Excuse me, is anybody there? Hello? Hmm. There doesn't appear to be anyone home. I feel like I'm gonna knock on the door and someone's gonna be like, Ah, you're out on the night of the hunt, are you? Beware. Kalima, Kalima. First and third, dude, uh, thank you for doing my work. Mm hmm Kid Capshaw's pretty weak, but it's a good adventure flick. Yeah, she's she's a bit much. It's newest entry is always the worst. That's the rule. Indy 5 coming out in like two months. Is it that soon? Hmm. Layton for Bloodborne. They do it twice in the first one. They forgot the keys. The city streets are deserted. It's a little bit creepy. Granted, there's something not quite right here. Let's keep moving. How much does an egg MacGuffin cost? Well, the problem is we need five egg MacGuffins. So it's more expensive. There is a discount for the bundle option. Oh, this seems welcoming. Oh, blah. Uh. It seems we've stumbled into a Miyazaki village of some description. Thatched roof! Thatched roof cottages! These grapes look ju fresh and juicy. I prefer white grapes to red, but I'm not fussy. Vineyards have existed for almost as long as civilization itself. In fact, that's that's how the Azran became so advanced. They didn't invent wine. And then they did invent it, and their civilization went down the shitter, and then they went away. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. That did sound very t yeah, it was a bit. <laughs> Specify which Miyazaki I do. The 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 FromSoft Miyazaki. Um Ghibli Elden Ring, yeah. I uh, the idea that just made me think of like having a bunch of grapes and then eating it like like you would an apple, of just like taking a bite of a bunch and like leaving some grapes partially eaten, eating a bunch of the like vine. It's just, it's just a hum. It seems real bad. Anyway, hi, Viz. How's puzzles? They're great. I'll do that in a second. Please don't. Getting bits of stem? Yeah, you're just like eating stem and like random bits of grapes. Layton just did that unprompted. Ugh! Ugh, that hint coin was not worth it. Rats! Uh, what? 
Professor Sycamore, look, that golden statue looks like a phoenix. Do you think it's part of the legend? We've all had the great fantasy. You aren't special. I thought the great fantasy was like being in a in a in a big chair and people are fanning you with palm fronds and, and feeding you grapes. I thought that's the great fantasy. That's different than like I fantasize about walking into Ralph's and eating grapes like an apple. Bad. You hate grapes? Grapes are good. I very much doubt it. In the eyes of the Azran, even the purest gold was of little worth. Of course. There was a chapter about in religious ancient histories, wasn't there? Scratch that theory then. The low poly grape cubes. That's a grape reality. Seedless green grapes? Yeah. And still not a soul around. Please, you help me. Think, uh, get our way. Did you hear that? It came from over there. Quickly. Over where? Oh, here. <laughs> Thank you, map. My map lit up and it said here. Uh, all right. This isn't the time to be admiring sculptures. Well, that sculpture. This isn't the time to be admiring sculptures. You know what they say, a sculpture a day is admirable in its own way. A lizard! He ran off. I gotta upgrade my grip strength, chat. Yeah. Woo. He doesn't have a, a white tipped tail, so... Not, that's not gonna give me any status buffs. I thought old people were supposed to be nice. Why won't you help me? My god, did you hear that? He called us old. Where we come from, that's a crime, you know. That's a... That's a crime? Zip it, Robin. Boy, let me make something very clear. I'm a perfectly eligible bachelor, and I don't like being talked down to. I, I mean, why we won't help you is none of your business. Out of our way, brat. My god, I reckon that phoenix bird over there is the egg we're looking for. Let's not waste our time talking to this pipsqueak. This is why I don't trust grown-ups. He asked those two for help. He must really be desperate. Indeed. Shall we offer our assistance? No good, street rat. Oh, long have we waited. Iguana activated. Eligible bachelor is tablet sling for gay? What? You came from outside the city, didn't you? Please, I really need your help. Everything's gone wrong and I've... Slow down. What is your name, young man? Uh, sorry, my name is Umid. Hello there, Umid. My name is Desmond Sycamore. This is Professor Layden. Would you care to tell us what's wrong? Uh, that's what I was getting at, but you stopped me and I had introductions. It's the adults. They're all... One morning, my mum wouldn't wake up. I shook her and shook her, but I couldn't get more than a few mumbles out of her. And the other grown-ups are exactly the same. They're all just lying there, sleeping. And have been for a whole week. A whole week? How bizarre. So every adult in the city is currently in a sort of coma. He's a witch! I know it's hard to believe, but please, come to my house. You can see for yourself. Just over here. Come on. Maybe you grumps will think of a way to wake her up. Okay. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. Well, I gotta steal your stuff first before I help your mom. Ooh, money. Ooh. What you got in here? Please, will you help my mother? She's very ill. Hold on. Any bright spark knows not to play with fire. Ah, my hand. My hand would be no match for it. On a lighter note, candles give a room real atmosphere. Look, Professor. Burning wax. It's hot. Is this stew? It looks very nutritious, but it smells great. I love aubergine, and that lamb must be really tender. I believe stews like this are a staple of the region. Aubergine? Eggplant? The egg is here. Professor! We must eat all the soup. You already burned your hand earlier today. And he poked a cactus in the last game. Repeatedly. Uh -huh. eh, eh, eh. These people look very happy. It's an old photograph, but one that's been well preserved. That reminds me, I'll have to put up some photos in the Bostonius. 
Sure thing. Look at Mr. Fancy Pants Frenchman. The garage. The woman in bed would be your mother, I presume? Yeah, it seems like she's been like this for ages. Oh. Yep, she's dead. I don't know what to do. Well, her pulse is steady and her breathing seems normal. I don't believe she's in any immediate danger. Other than that, she hasn't eaten or drank anything in a week. You don't know what caused her to end up in this state? If I did, I wouldn't be asking you. She doesn't respond to a single thing I say. No one can do anything. I just, I can't handle this anymore. Most curious phenomenon. The only thing I can think of is, well, it's an old Mycenaean legend. The story goes that long ago, a mighty phoenix with healing powers swooped down on Messenia and made it her home. She would slumber for months, even years at a time, but when she was awoken, tears of joy would stream from her eyes. Those tears were said to cure any illness. The people of the city collected the tears and used them to heal the sick. If I can find the phoenix and wake her up, maybe her tears will help the grown-ups wake up too. Hmm. Look, you might not believe it, but I don't have any other choice. Actually, it's often the case that legends have some vestige of truth to them. There may be a chance such a thing exists. It's the only hope I have left. I'll do whatever it takes, please. If you promise to help me, I'll guide you through the city. I'll show you anything you want. That seems sustainable. Hmm. Sleepy. Sleepy weepy. As rent traditions remain strong in Messinia, the entire adult population of the town is fast asleep. It seems a phoenix's tears would rouse the locals from their slumber, but does such a mythical creature even exist? Why is it only the adults that are asleep? I wonder. They all just were partying too hard. I actually think I remember this one. Of all the locations in the game, I think I actually remember what this one's about. Uh, all right. Let's get some info on the phoenix. Vestiges of truth, just like the bride sacrificing village. Yep. Oh! Hello! Look at you. Who are, who are you, little gentleman? Who are you? Why aren't you asleep like daddy? Are you sleepwalking? No, no, I'm quite sure we're awake, though the situation you poor children are in seems like a bad dream to me. We are currently trying to find a way to wake the adults of your city. Our friend Umid here believes the phoenix might be the key. Oh, the phoenix? Yeah, I saw that once. Want to hear about it? Wait, actually, can you help me with the puzzle first? I'm really stuck on it. That's almost like a hat please kind of a dance. Just like a... They're going. Anyway. Yeah, sure. Let me help you. R.I.P. hat please. Priorities. 79. Snake squeezing times 10. What? Uh. Squeezing a selection of slithering serpents into a small pot like this is no problem for an experienced snake charmer. In fact, even though you might not think this pot here could hold more than the nine snakes that are already in it, with a bit of, bit of rearranging, you can definitely fit in a tenth. There's no trickery involved. The snakes don't overlap. Care to give it a go, see if you can get all ten snakes to fit in this pot. I do like that snake. It's, it's the fucking... It's that worm what drives a car from Richard Scary. The, the, the busy world. B busy town. Anyway, uh... Yeah, sure, okay. Just a little bit of rearranging, huh? I can't rotate them. Just gotta, just gotta slide them around. Um... I feel like we should start by getting the big, the big red snake in there. Because there's only gonna be so many places he can go, right? Like... Let's just, let's just put them up there. It, it. Um, oh my god, all the snakes are loose. It do look like that worm. The worm in the apple car! I like that all the worms are just out and about on the bottom screen. Well, on the top screen. Wait, so... That doesn't count as being inside? What? It spits it out. The green one's a prime snake. Uh, this one? Yeah, that's a pretty good snake. <laughs> see, you can see on the other screen, they hop in and out. But if I put it here... Oh, it does go in. 
Never mind. It looked like it was hopping on when it... Okay, never mind. Alright, um... Can I put anything in the top corner? Maybe, maybe there? Um... Hold off on that. I might just need a real, a real little guy. Like, like you? Yeah, you can scooch in there. Um... Wee, wee. Wee, wee. Wee, wee. wee. You can go there. I'm trying to see if anything can hook into that. Um, doesn't seem like it. Well. You go there. You go there. You can, um, you can, you, you, you could, you could, you, Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe that. Oh. Make the snakes kiss. And then. Uh. Oh. Oh. Good. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it did. It. Yeah, you did it! Here's my answer. This seems like a chill place to be. Just in a room with a man and a lot of snakes. Critical thinking is the key to success. Spectacular! This kind of thing is all in a day's work for a snake charmer, you know. Look at them. Uh, look how happy they are. They're doing the wave. They're doing the snake wave. Like in Katie's fan fiction. Excuse me, what? Snake squeezing times ten. Submerged glade. You're clever. Okay, so the Phoenix, right? Do you see that big hill outside the city? It's called Phoenix's Rest. We always get told off if we play anywhere near it. But once, right, I saw this humongous bird perched on the hill and it looked me right in the eye. Really snuck all them snacks in. Snuck them in. Just look at my fanfic. I don't understand. <laughs> Sounds like an Okami weapon. A large bird at Phoenix's rest sounds like a lead to me. Oh, well, time to leave. Okay. I made a joke about snakes kissing like in my fanfic. Ah. I missed that part. I understand now. I thought the fanfic involved ten snakes smushed into a pot together. They got it. If the grown-ups were around, they'd yell at us and tell us never to go near anywhere that place. Uh, I know it's probably to keep us safe, but this is different. If the phoenix really lives on that hill, we have to go. It just looks so creepy. I sort of wish there were some grown-ups yelling at us not to go right now. They can tell me off all they like when they wake up. I'll just be happy they're back to normal. Hmm. Is that the Temple of Time? In the woods, on the touchscreen. It's covered up by here now. Keep out. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Look at him go! Oh! See you later, little guy. He's got places to be. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh. It is dark and empty inside that tree, much like a cave. This is what happens to trees that rot away from the inside out. No doubt woodland creatures have made this hollow their home. Good. Oh. This mountain reaches all the way into the clouds. There's a great view of the mountain from over here, Professor. Let's see if I can frame the mountain between two trees. Huh. My word, a moth of the most prodigious proportions has just alighted on the tree. That is pretty huge. Thanks for pointing it out, Professor. You're not a fan of moths, Emmy? Then perhaps you prefer butterflies. The children in this game are written believably like children. Mm hmm I think this game does the best job of making the children into children. And a lot of the games, Luke is just kind of like, Oh, look at that, Professor. Wowie. That looks great. And this one, he's just like, Oh, look over here. He has a good view. And I mean, that's pretty consistent. I don't know. There's just been very fun Luke being dumb bits in this game. Golden Butterfly 2. Oh, again. 
As any good lepidopterist knows, the only way to see a golden butterfly is to lure one out using a concoction of just the right level of sweetness. Too sweet attracts bees, not sweet enough attracts beetles. You open a glimpse of the golden butterfly, you have only three fruity syrups of varying sweetness and a bottle of water. A bottle of water. Using five measures of these ingredients can you create a perfect concoction. Water will dilute the sweetness. Yeah, so one of these, one of these, two of these, and some water. Shit! Damn it. Alright. All in on that. Okay, so that's, that's sweet. That one's also sweet. That one is also sweet? What? Huh? What? So, thanks for the Hydra Pixel. We'll do that in a moment. I... Okay, so it needs to be very diluted. One of each and two waters isn't sweet enough. Um... I... Just put him, put him in the jelly. I... What I did last time was just like, okay, this one's too sweet, this one's not sweet enough, land in the middle, done. This one feels much more... weird... That's too sweet. And then replacing that makes it not sweet enough. So about two of those in a water. What about two of those in a water? That's also too sweet. I I two hours one of each was two dollars. It must be exactly one water. Unless two- unless one of these is much sweeter than the others. And I do need to dilute it down a bit. I don't know. Zero of something, probably. Possibly? If one of each isn't- try three one one? It's gonna definitely be too sweet. Two straw one melon one water. That's too sweet. And it's also too sweet. What about two and two of these? This is how it's done. Okay. Good stuff. 2021. 2138. You finally laid eyes on the magnificent golden butterfly, isn't it beautiful? Sure. And we brute forced it. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what the hierarchy of sweetness was, and I wasn't really learning much. So. No idea how that was supposed to work. Yeah, me neither. Uh, butterflies aren't all icky and insecty like real insects. They look like bow ties. That's some rather interesting logic, Emmy. Moths look like bow ties too, so what's the problem? What's the problem, Emmy? Alright, so the Temple of Time then. Ugh. Uh. Do you have a puzzle for me? Oh, thank God. I can't handle an eagle giving me a riddle. Is that the Phoenix? 89's a book puzzle. So we're getting close. Squawk! <laughs> Squawk! Sorry, we didn't mean to disturb you. We came here to open to see the phoenix. Is that you? Quah, squawk. But you've been here a long time, haven't you? Squawk, squawk, squawk. So you're waiting for her, and you say she sparkles? That sounds mystical enough. I bet she's the one we're looking for, then. You know when she might be back? We'd really like to meet her, too. Squawk, 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 squawk. I don't think we'll be able to wait that long, but how do you know she's nearby? Squawk! Whoa, you must have a keen sense of smell. Squawk, 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 hair. Good chat. You think she's inside there? That doesn't sound very likely. I think that's a sluice gate. Okay. 
Thank you, Arthur. You know, it's like a door for water and never mind, it's not important. It was nice to meet you, Adler. How does it look, Luke? Well, Adler here isn't the phoenix, but there is a much bigger bird around here, and it sparkles all over. An even bigger bird, but how do we go about looking for it? He said he spotted her once, she, once he was looking towards the city. Maybe we'll find more clues back there. Hmm. So not the sluice gate? These are almost identical to Azran ruins. There's no doubt about it. Mycenae and the Azran are connected. I thought they said the walls looked like Azran artifacts. We already knew that. Could it be that the phoenix is hidden within? I very much doubt that. Um, aren't you overthinking things a bit? It's just an old cistern. The overthinking things is the name of the game. Whoa. whoa. Mm-hmm. A slapdash sculpture. Huh? <laughs> oh. Taking the road less traveled is never easy. Fuck you, Robert Frost. These plants are prickly, Professor. I wish I wasn't wearing shorts. Be careful not to scratch your legs, Luke, and you, Aurora. Well, shorts are comfortable and easy to wear, Professor. All the trees in this area seem to be tall, thin, and straight. Not like any of us, eh, Professor? Thank you, Emmy. This one looks as though it might be younger than the others. There's something profoundly sad about a tree lacking branches. So sad. Whoa. Oh, is that just the, the gate? No. Hooray. All three of which I am not. Tall thing and straight. One out of three. Oh, well, three which I am. How I like my boyfriends. It is a problem. Professor Latent. Squaw! Professor Latent Energy. Oh, hello. Oh, I want to look at the little guy! Oh, what are you doing here? I bet they're trying to get to the phoenix at the top of this mountain, too. Is that it? Is that what you're after? We've already been there, as a matter of fact. Most magnificent wing feathers, that bird. Bah, pipped at the post again. And after all the time we poured into solving that riddle. Hurry up, my car. Let's go see the phoenix. Or even listening, Robin, they already got the egg. You never know. The phoenix might lay another one just for us. No harm in asking. Booby boo boo see you up ahead. What have I told you about running off? If you fall into another trap... Surely do, they do not intend to provoke that bird into laying an egg for them. Well, they'll have a difficult time of it. Adler's definitely male. I... Hmm. Well... I don't know why I... I the first thing that came to mind, and I apologize in advance for this, was any cloaca in a storm. Well, this is quite a predicament, and we're still no closer to finding the egg. If we could locate someone involved in town planning, it would be a different story altogether. That's not going to happen anytime soon. I haven't seen anyone older than Umid on the streets. I said I was sorry, chat. Why are you upset? You're not allowed to be upset if I apologize. That's the rule. Bar band. And the only clue we have to go on is that there might be an enormous bird that sparkles. Where on earth should we look? A moment. Professor Sycamore? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, ice cold cloaca cola. Sure, there's a lot of cloaca talk around here. Yeah, well. Umid said that all the adults in Messini are suffering from this interminable sleep. Yet you, Miss Altava, and I have shown no signs of drowsiness or exhaustion. I suppose that's true. What does that mean? Whatever induced the sleep is unlikely to be an airborne contagion of some sort and must have come about by some other means. We need more information. The source of the illness must lie elsewhere. But where? Let's talk to the children in the city. Perhaps they will be able to provide us with a clue or two. Or maybe a puzzle. And I want to talk to Toad again. Okay, hi. Now, Tamir, I know this might be hard for you, but can you remember anything that might have caused your father to fall ill? 
Yeah, I guess there might be one thing. We had a massive festival the night before the in honor of the Phoenix. Me and Daddy helped ourselves to all the food we could eat. My tummy's never stuck out as much as it did then. That sounds sensational. But then when we got home, right, I heard Daddy go out through the back. I thought he might be going for seconds, more like sevenths. But then, why didn't he invite me? That must be when whatever happened, happened. Sounds that way, all right. Come on, let's see if we can gather some more facts about the festival. You gotta go to who am I gonna play with? What about the other children? Can't you play with them? I already asked. There's a girl that hangs around Precious Hill, but she only ever wants to play with Omid. It's not fair. Omid's quite the popular one, isn't he? How about we pay this girl a visit? You're not gonna play with me then? Oh, she doesn't look very moody. Can you ask her again for me? You got it. Hmm. All the adults went to an orgy and got sick. Seems plausible. That is a very egg-shaped hill. Hmm. Oh, a beehive. Bees! Bees! Run! Luke, you know I'm allergic! Professor, the bees! I caught them in my mouth! Don't eat the bees, Luke! Professor, they're buzzing! It's fizzy like a soda! Luke! Spit them out! Alright, Professor, do! Not onto me, Luke! No! Look, Professor, a hidden puzzle! Oh, how wonderful. Solving this should make for a pleasant change of pace. From all the puzzle solving. They're going for the jam, Professor! <laughs> 82, walking on water, two. The lake is dotted with floating ice shelves thick enough to hold a person's weight. Stepping on an ice shelf sets an emotion, using the ice shelves like that, 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 we already did this, let's do it again. Uh, probably this way, and probably like to here, and then maybe be like, um, like that, and then like over there. Um, you know, just kinda, just kinda looping around without really thinking too hard about where to. But just, you know, eventually it's just gonna work out. And the chat's gonna be like, wow, good job solving that without thinking about what you're doing. Okay, fine. Um... So I need... Uh, um, hmm. Hmm. What do I need to do? How about... How about... How about... Let's give this a go. Drop that down over there. And then... Uh, oh, um, uh, ooh, uh, um, yes, correct, job's done. Sorry I didn't make the small Let's screen big it. for that, I, it's fine. You put that away, Oxic. I think I'm in the mood for another. Good job, son, that was the thing about what you're doing, thank you. There's no easy way to walk across the lake. Thank you. If we wind up in a room with books, I'm not top touching anything in there. That was refreshing. Mmm. Like a tall glass of bees. Oh, me, there you are. Where have you been? Don't you know you're not supposed to keep a girl waiting? Sorry, Mary, but it was important. These people are going to help us find the cure. Oh, well, that's great news. And here I was, worried that you were staying away just to spite me, silly me. They didn't try real hard to disguise it. What do you mean, disguise it? What, do you mean, what are you talking about, Izzy? You walk on water or you split it? Uh, how are the grown-ups? Anyone wake up yet? I was supposed to be in preprint. Oh, I see. Yeah, because the theming of that puzzle before was catch up there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they didn't make new art. So... It makes sense. It's like, if you're reusing the puzzle, I wouldn't expect them to try to justify it. I mean, sometimes they do go, Oh no, she's in the lake again! Right? But, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Tamir's dad tried to scratch his nose. He missed it by a good few inches. Apart from that, nothing new. I think hanging a nice lantern in front of them might help. Be a dear and lend me a hand, would you? you? Got it. Peace Walker turns 13 tomorrow. Dang. That's wild. Moonlight, starlight. 
This is the hanging lampshade Mary wants to make. It's made up of eight triangular panels, only two of which are decorated with an image. Have a look at the unassembled lampshade on the touchscreen. One panel has already been decorated with a star. Help Layton and Umid work out where the moon should go to create the lampshade displayed on the top screen. Oh. Is on the opposite side from the star? Opposite bottom. Okay. Um. This one. You know, I think this may be it. Is that yeah. I mean that was the that was the third one? It's number three, right? Spatial reasoning can be tough. I would simply make a model of paper. Yeah, that's a fun way to solve it. Not that one, then. In that case... Hmm... That would flip back up over there. Hmm. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan, where should the moon go? To recreate the image on the top screen. Ryan Termina. Done. You know, I think this may be it. Oh, that was Hyrule. Oh, dear. That was my bad. This is weird to visualize, because the way the triangle slices would, like, fold, you know, it's like... Yeah, like, kind of fold and pivot. So this is weird. Just build an IRL. I don't have any paper! What do you think I am? A guy with paper? That man's dead. Yeah, he's very dead. Um... Okay, I know for certain it's not this one. It's not these two. I think it's this or this. I don't think it's this guy. This, but that that doesn't make any sense. Unless... Unless... It might be this guy. Hmm. Wish the example wasn't spinning on its own. Yeah, if you could freely rotate it, that'd be nice. Because I stopped thinking about it in terms of folding it, and I started trying to think about it in terms of, okay, well, how many panels do you have to cross to get to the moon? And you have to kind of move over three. So you either like over, over, and then down, or like down and over and over. Um, and then trying to think about that in terms of, okay, well, you know, once you fold it up, things will connect in different ways. It's not literally move three from here, but like if the, if the bottom one folds up and over, then I think that becomes one, two, three over. I think it just kind of like bends over there. I could, I, I don't know. I'm not confident about this, but this chat thinks so. The conundrum. Okay. Because I was struggling to fold it up in my brain, so. Nice lamp, champ! The pan on the very bottom left is the spot where the moon needs to go. What a lovely warm glow. Noise. They're so happy. Yeah, okay. Mary's request! Oh, there was one other thing! Graham was mumbling something about the phoenix in her sleep. She really loves that Boyd. That's right, your grand's seen the phoenix before, hasn't she? Mary's grandmother's the keeper. She's the wisest person in the city, and she looks after the old temple to the north. Happy by for all what? Yes. Precisely. We might have some, might find some clues there. Shall we go and have a look? 
By all means, lead the way. Over there. Over there. Yeah. I don't remember the exact specifics, but I do think I remember what the what the the situation in this town is. I and and where the phoenix is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I take it this is the temple you were talking about, Amid. The architecture is stunning, though it's a shame to see it in disrepair. Are there any clues about the legend? Please don't rush me. <laughs> Goddamn Sycamore. This is without doubt Azran stone. I can discern very little from the design. It's unfortunate the person who would know the subject best is incapacitated. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Look, there's the keeper. Why is she not asleep? Even the stained glass windows in the shape of a phoenix. The sunlight flooding in through this window fills the temple with warmth. It's beautiful. Those look like very intricate patterns. Can you tell what they mean, Professor? Hmm. Nope. Probably nothing. Face on a monument. Oh, uh, uh, Luke? What, Professor? L Professor, what happened? Luke, what did you do? I was over there! Luke? I can't believe you would desecrate a grave. But, Professor, it was- you're standing next to it! I- you would dare blame this on me? A gentleman? Luke, what did you do? Professor, you just leaned on that one! Luke! Stop breaking the graves! I thought they were graves, they are just stone tablets. Oh, phew. No, Luke, don't. Good news. They're not graves. They're just stone tablets. I can't believe you broke them, though. They have certainly suffered at the mercy of the elements. Oh, I can't understand a single thing written here. Hmm. Quite. A stone sheep. Stop this madness, Luke. We re I really can't take you anywhere, can I? Uh, Ma'am. Whoa, she's sleeping. Oh, what does she, what does she look like? She looks like something, like a character from something. And if anyone says Dana from Layton and the Azran Legacy, you're getting banned. What does she look like, Mr. Dink? She looks like Mr. Dink. She 100 percent does. Not, I mean, comic a bit, let me get a little bit. It, it's Mr. Dink. That's what I was thinking of. Well done, MD Major. You're unbanned forever. And those from Munchkins. Oh, a little bit of Munchkins, yeah. Mr. Saturn? Boing. She's sleeping standing up. She's been like this the whole time. She won't wake up, but she won't lie down either. It's pretty strange. Douglas, have you seen the Phoenix? Douglas, this puzzle's worth 10 picorettes. Her legs must be terribly tired by now. The Phoenix. Wake the... Please. Mm. Push her over. <laughs> Wake the Phoenix? Soft mirror lies sleeping. Wish I knew what she was on about. Well, guess we should probably just start looking around. The mirror. Those look like very intricate patterns. Can you tell what they mean, Professor? Hmm. Still no. Okay. Go into- go to the temple? Can I- can I answer the- is it, Wake the windfish. Young girl, old hag, optical illusion? Solve the phoenix mural. Um... I just assumed it was like, oh, okay, well now- oh. Now you can... Poke the mural. You tell what they mean. Uh... Okay. It's a Phoenix Douglas. Very expensive. No more NPCs. They're sleeping. Just go. <laughs> Listen, if we had an entire town filled with NPCs, it'd be tough to make. It's a Phoenix. I've solved it. I've solved your riddle. Go to the temple to gather info. What other info is there? What am I missing?
Intricate path. It, 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 there's three things and they're separated by four steps around trees. I, I'd go somewhere else, but it says here on the map. I'm not... Ask her about the cost of the temple. Yeah. Uh... Great. And that resets all the fucking things I can tap. Yep. Rook, after I put it back together... Professor, I'm sorry! And now though I... Oh, I thought it would match better! Rook, it's symmetrical now! Rook! Hmm. Look at the blue table on the right of screen. Oh, the blue tab. Oh. Young gold woman. Yeah. Classic. Classic optical illusion. I, I remember seeing this in a book of illusions and being like, huh? I only see, the, I only, I forget which one I only saw. It might have been the old lady. I was like, I don't see a, a, a young woman at all. What are you talking about? Now I just see both. It's like the rabbit duck one. It's like once you see it, now I'm like, I just see both of them. I only see the young. So so the 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 the, the lady the late the young lady, uh this is her cheek, that's her nose, eyelash, she's looking off this direction, that's her chin, that's her her jawline, there's her ear, hair, she's got like a necklace going down, whatever. Uh the old lady, this is all her face. This is her big old nose, that's her mouth, there's her pointed chin, that's an eye, that's the other eye, she's looking like over this way. It's like a much bigger head, if it's the hag, if it's the old lady. We went over this in psych. Yeah. The nose is too big. He's a big old, he's a big old hunker. Nothing wrong with that. A French noble in the 1800s. Oh. Uh, thank you. I had no idea what to look for. Do you suppose there's a clue about the phoenix here? Fisher mermaid. Can't see it. Oh. The temple appears to be dedicated to the phoenix legend. The stone slabs are, in fact, not gravestones, but historical tablets. Well, that's interesting, but it's not much of use if we can't... Much, not much use to us if we can't read them. Her neck is not connected. Oh. But up uh, uh what's this? This tablet is different from the others. You're right, it's like the writing we saw in the Azran Dome back in Cod. Allow me to read it. The Phoenix grants guidance only to the chosen few, those who bear the celestial burden and complete the perpetual cycle. Igneous bird born of dawn's west rays, cast your flaming wings over noon skies till your journey ends under an eastern moon. Those who complete the cycle, find your way to the entrance of the phoenix's protection. It's said that when a phoenix dies, it rises from its ashes reborn. One might say that it represents the circle of life. It seems the tablet is asking us to depict this cycle in some way. Where is the most crucial element, the circle itself? What about the large mural on the wall? Those engravings could represent a circle, couldn't they? See the patterns around that central image? They look like suns to me. I think we might even be able to move them. Very well spotted, Emmy. In that case, we simply need to align the patterns to match the story on the tablet. Okay. Dawn's west rays go on the left. Noon skies top, eastern moon goes on the right. Look at that. Oh! Oh. Oh. A tremor? Most likely a direct result of our having completed the puzzle. Or perhaps sandworms. According to the tablet, that would mean that we could, should find our way to the entrance of the Phoenix's protection now. I don't, don't, quite, don't quite see what that signifies. Merely an idea, perhaps the protection refers to the city's high walls. In which case, the entrance to the Phoenix's protection would be the city's main gate. Certainly worth a try. Back to the city's main gate, then. Tremors 4! Walk without rhythm, Luke. Luke, 
We must walk without rhythm. Or else you'll attract the worm. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. If we interpret the Phoenix's protection to mean the city walls, we enter it when we step through this gate. You really think it's that simple? I'm not seeing anything around here. Wait, what's that up there? Up where? Oh, there's another thing on the wall. An Azran plaque. What? Shai Hulud. Professor of the Quetzalcoatlrock! <laughs> Professor! Time is unraveling before me! Professor, I see a great and terrible jihad in my future, Professor! <laughs> Uh, maybe I've just spent my whole life staring at my feet, but I'm pretty sure I've never been seen riding up there before. A Freeman named Gordon. Gordon Freeman. I can say with some conviction that whatever mechanism caused that tremor also revealed this tablet for us. We still can't read what it says, though. I can help you there. From its ashes of birth, the reborn bird takes flight from the pinnacle of time and seeks respite westwards. I do like to think that the tablet's up too high and she can't read it. So, like, Emmy just has to pick her up and hold her, like, like Rafiki holding Simba. And Aurora's just fucking reading. Just moving her from left to right. Anyway, from its ashes of birth, the reborn bird takes flight from the pinnacle of time and seeks respite westwards. So, it's, it's going east to west? What are we... What? Beyond lie six immovable mountains. The phoenix settles on the second peak before crossing another on her way to paradise. So there's six towers and go, go to the second? The mountains she touches are resplendent with eternal light. When all is true, the bird shall open her heart. The pinnacle of time would appear to indicate the clock tower, no? Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. Is that clock tower a million years old? Sure, why not? That clock tower is an important monument in our city. We wind it up every festival. It's never stopped for a second. Most interesting. If we follow it westwards, then, as told in the inscriptions, we must look to the left. I don't see six immovable mountains anywhere, though. What's that supposed to mean? What about the stone slabs along that beam? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Must be all the Azran tablets in it. Fair. Though maybe there were Azran ruins and someone was like, this is pretty intact. Stick it on the side of the building. Very observant, Aurora. Shall we see if they can be operated? It lands on the second peak and then crosses another. We have to light up the right stones to match the story. Oh, good. Uh. Zoom. The phoenix settles on the second peak before crossing another. It's like that one. And the, and what? Crossing another? I don't... I mean crossing another. What is that? that Can that mean any number of things? Yeah. Why'd they go with a million? I, I don't know. It does not make sense. Maybe, maybe this way? It settles on the second peak before crossing another. What does that mean? Does anyone- Hey, thank you for the bits. Does anyone have any ideas what that means? This is- this is so vague. Maybe right to left- starts at the clock tower. Right. We're crossing another. Okay, I started the wrong one. Second peak. Boop! I clicked some stones and got the answer. Masinia really holds secrets like this. It's all so hard to believe. That rumbling was closer than last time. Sounds as though the Phoenix has opened her heart to us. Perhaps heart would indicate the center of the city. I never have got that so quickly. Well, a decade's worth of the Saturday cryptic does make one rather good at spotting wordplay. The Saturday cryptic. So, you're smart because you solve crosswords? You know, my dad died when I was young, so I never got to know him, but I heard he was a quick thinker like you. Sounds like he would have been a wonderful father. Hmm. If my daughter were still alive, she'd be about your age, too. Oh. Oh, I... You... you had a daughter, Professor? Forgive me, this isn't the time. 
I'm so sorry. All oh, that's in the past. What matters now is waking up the people of Messenia. If you're sure, we should go to the city center then and quickly. Really strange to drop that in the middle of one of five egg hunts you could do in any order. But wow. Well, the little toad child definitely fell down in there, right? The statue is missing. I must say, I did not expect our actions to have such a noticeable effect on the town. As for technology, they never do anything by halves, do they? These ruins, along with the legend of the phoenix, must have been a closely guarded secret. You can't drop that in the first date. No. Fascinating, isn't it? If you if you permit me, I'd like to try my hand at deciphering the words inscribed. It's heart exposed, the phoenix stirs. When life's essence flows from the great gate, the ancient bird will rise from slumber. Great gate, is that a metaphor? I believe the identity of our phoenix is about to come to light. We just need to follow the clues as before. Let's locate this great gate. Are we talking about real gates? There can't be very many to choose from. Precisely, Luke. Think about the gates we've come across in this city. Remember, not all gates are made for people. Well, then what would they be? Oh, the sluice gate! And it all clicks into place. Good. Then back to the forest we go. Chat. Chet, are you figuring it out, Chet? Chet, are you getting it? Bird gate. Bird gate. I went the wrong way. This way. Absolutely not. Cool. I can't believe I remember this. Of all the things to remember from this game. Uh, uh, there's... Uh, I'm missing... The uh, road less traveled. My shorts, Professor! It's me shorts! Uh, it's tall, thin, and straight. Good. Great. Uh. Um. Not the bird. Okay, well. There it is! How you doing, Adler? Sluice is a fun word. Craw, craw, craw. I know, I'm excited too. I think you'll get to see her very soon. Squaw! This is the one location I remember the conclusion of, except for one part of it. Hmm. Puzzle. Hard for it to be intuitive when ancient fucking magic is involved. You're not wrong. It doesn't look like anything's changed since the last time. Yet some change undoubtedly occurred. If we open the gate as the inscriptions tell us to, perhaps all will become clear. What, this ancient thing? You really think it'll move? Of course. We just saw the entire fucking center of town drop down into the pit. All we need to do is unlock it. The Azrin technology is... sturdy. Oh. Puzzle 85, the phoenix wakes. To open the sluice gate, the puzzle embedded in this panel must be solved. Bound by the chains of eight moons, the phoenix shall remain asleep. Only with the power of the star stones may these chains be severed. No stone can be connected to a stone whose number is one higher or one lower than its own. Once the chains are severed, the freed phoenix will awaken. Place the stones according to the given rule and end the phoenix's slumber. It's hilarious to me. When they're like... Bound by the chains of eight, the phoenix shall remain asleep. You can only go one higher or one lower. Very good. You sent me a beautiful video. I'm excited to watch this beautiful video, Bubbles. How are you? I'll be doing good, man. Um... Well, we have a five and a six locked in a place there. Uh, no thing we can't make it to the one whose number is one higher, one lower. So it can't be one higher or lower. Meaning... We have one, two, three, four, H, and, uh, eight? Seven and eight. Swap screens, sorry, thank you. There you go. She might love it too. What did you send to me? My favorite number is also H. 
Puzzles. Um, wait, I swapped back to the wrong one. This one. Uh, how about a three? And then how about um, how about a how about a let me put that in there. Maybe like a maybe like a three, like a like a three and a two there. And then um, um, how about a one? And but this doesn't work. That's no good. Uh. Uh. Shit. Wait. Right. Stop so one three three. Done. Here's my answer. Pure skill. Critical thinking is the key to success. What, what do you mean? I put down things I thought made sense and then started dragging things around so it worked. I knew what I was doing. Stellar work. The power of the Star Stones has freed the Phoenix and put an end to its slumber. Oh God, we've awakened the beast. Oh no. There, there it is, chat. Do you get it? The, the phoenix was. Look at that! Was the whole city. There it is. That's the phoenix. When life's essence flows, the ancient bird will rise. Why does he look so mad? Did Layton think he was gonna see a real phoenix, and he's like, "This sucks." I was promised a phoenix. This is just water in a shape. He hates birds. <laughs> This is the sparkling bird you were talking about? Scraw, scraw. Son, I am disappointed. That's the most expression he's had all game. She's very pretty. There's one thing I don't understand, though. If the town's supposed to be the phoenix, what are the phoenix's tears? Yo, welcome back. That's a lot of months. Thanks, Locke. Uh, as tears flow from the eyes, I'd say that we look for one of the phoenix's eyes. This, that is where we'll find our cure. I know just where we can go to find an eye. Follow me. Set me free. Oh, sir? Horned Owl. Who? Oh, right. Cool. Uh, that's one superb owl. Gotta hit that sluice juice. Push him in the hole! All right, this is the last straw. The statue that here was the phoenix? It was right here, right under our noses, and now it's gone! Robert, calm down, you'll blow a gasket. Calm down, I'm perfectly calm! Ha ha ha! Look, we checked every nook and cranny on the statue, and there was nothing. I don't think it was THE Phoenix. Alright, then, consider me only fuming mad. Is it any wonder the children keep throwing stones at us? Oh, damn. It's just not fair, because we try, we try, we try, we don't get anywhere fast, no matter how much I run. Listen, I know it's hard to accept that we've been beaten, but every time we get beaten, we bounce back. That's our style. Ah, maybe you're right. Maybe the Phoenix just flew the coop, and it'll be back again later. You never know, the city's got more tricks than an international pony conference. You just, you just pulled that idiom out of your hat, Macaw? Okay. International pony conference, understood. Um... Yeah, this one. 
here. The waters float all the way down here. Oh, 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 ugh. oh. Oh, it's looking at me, Professor. The phrase is one trick pony. Yeah, but if there's a conference of them, then you'll have many tricks. Look, the hill. So these are the tears of the Phoenix. What do you mean? It's simple, look, Luke. It's a shrimple, really. The river that flows through Messinia represents the Phoenix and this hill one of its eyes. In which case, it's likely that Umid's ancestors once likened the water around the hill to a Phoenix's tears. That's incredible. Incredibly far-fetched. Where's the bird? Now, though you may believe it to be a far-fetched theory, you cannot argue with the cold, hard facts. Yeah, maybe, but still. And does that mean that all the water around this hill is the cure we've been looking for? Almost, but not quite. The Phoenix's tears should, however, guide us to the location of the cure. I'm positive that the answers we seek are down there somewhere. I don't want to go in. It's spooky. Oh, no. Oh, it's Nier's underground city. You're full of shit, Sycamore. More like shit more. What have we here? This is the part I remember. See, this is the part I forgot about. Just once we got the city, because you can see from the, the city map on the touchscreen for navigating, it does kind of vaguely show the Phoenix's outline that gets filled in by water. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's the Phoenix. And I don't remember anything else that happens here. There are slabs of text everywhere. Nears of the Phoenix. It's a Breath of the Wild shrine. Link. I believe we've stumbled upon an Azran library. Forgotten history bestowed to the future. An Azran library? But what about the tears we're looking for? I would hazard a guess that the Phoenix's tears are a remedy that we must concoct ourselves. Most likely, the Azran created the legend to ensure that only the most determined intellectuals made it here. Sycamore really just said, I'm very smart. The Messinians must have known. This place can't have gone untouched for so long. Books? Oh, please, no books. As an archaeologist, I'm rather envious of the Messinians having lived so close to this ancient treasure trove. There's much I would like to examine, but we should focus on rousing the adults first. This will, of course, mean postponing our search for the egg further, but I think you'll agree it's the right thing to do. Absolutely. The city's safety takes priority over our mission. I'll begin working on this side if you have no objections. Dalio. Translation is my specialty, Professor. By all means, you can assist it, but you'll hardly match my speed. Me, me, me. Do I detect a subtle rivalry between the two professors? I suppose I should be making myself useful too. Emmy, do you remember the plants with jagged leaves we saw in the forest? Would you mind picking some for the remedy? We'll need the bark of an olive tree too. Just you leave it to Emmy Altava, assistant extraordinaire. <laughs> Just gonna go outside and smoke a cigarette. We'd solve the riddle. Solving a number of puzzles around Mosinia allowed water to flood into its canals, which formed the shape of a phoenix. In the phoenix's eye, a vast Azran archive contains incredible wonders, including the formula of an all-curing panacea. The Azran built this town in a way that would allow a phoenix to appear when its waterways are filled. Good. Luke's just eating the leftover books. Where? What? When? How? Why? Mom, you're awake! You're really awake! Umid, what's got into you all of a sudden? And who are these people? Mom, you've been asleep for a whole week! I have? Oh. I wonder where there might have been Dormus Saporus. Dormus Saporus? Isn't that some kind of toxic mushroom? I was at the Phoenix Festival with your uncle. We often have a sort of after party to give us adults a chance to goss. They had this delicious wild mushroom stew. I was gonna bring you some, but I felt rather drowsy, so I just hurried home. I suppose someone doesn't know their dormus supports from their omis nomis. Their omis nomis. I should have realized when I saw your uncle snoring away. I was so worried about you, mom. Oh, I'm sorry to have scared you, Umi, but look, at least you proved that you can stand on your own two feet for once. And the Bingus Bongus. Mom, what do you mean for once? Well, we've solved the mystery of the sleeping illness and made an incredible discovery. 
we're still no closer to finding the egg. Aha! I thought I might find you tagging along with Umid. Oh my god. Mary's the egg! She's egg-shaped. Ah, Mary, was it? Close, but you need to roll the R a bit. Mary. Anyway, I'm not here to lecture you. In fact, I'm here to tell you about a little parting gift. Grand burst into tears when she heard what you did, and now she wants to give you our phoenix egg. Uh, what is she like? Phoenix egg? Then that means... Mer it's the egg you were looking for, isn't it? Go on. The keeper should be waiting at the temple. We did it. Hurrah. This area's twist is the least aggravating. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to lead anyone on, but being, but like saying it's hard to predict what's going to happen when you have fucking ancient civilization magic. It's like, yeah, this is pretty grounded though. It's stupid and silly, but it's like, eh, it's just water. The one with the big line dog. Yeah, we did that one uh, first. Yeah, the desert town. Big old pooch. Old red. Torido. Really, I don't know how to repay you. Then don't. If anything, you should be thanking the children. They were the true heroes in this play. I mean, they just kind of Lord of the Flies did until we showed up, but... Yeah, they did it. Oh no, my little Umi was probably just messing around. He likes acting the hero. What makes a person if not their deeds? Umi deserves more credit than you, than you give him. He's a responsible young man now. Umid responsible? Are we talking about the same person here? Or have I been dozing a lot longer than I thought? You were asleep for a little more than a week, although I understand how sleep can make you lose track of the passage of time. I suppose they do grow up in the blink of an eye, don't they? Well, I better start making up for all that lost time. It's a good thing that little snooze has left me with bounding with energy. Nothing like a toxic mushroom-induced coma to really put a spring in your step. Thanks, everyone. What you did for me for the city means a lot to us. Umid, you should know that you were simply the means to our end. We do not deserve thanks. They blink at the same time. Hmm. Ominous. Not insult your child challenge. Impossible. <laughs> Even so, you were the only ones who listened to me. It's not every day you meet strangers who are that considerate. I'm glad you came. Now listen, who was the one with the courage to ask complete strangers for help? The one who guided us all the way. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's L P Professor Layton. He did it. You did an admirable job, Umid. Most commendable. Professor? Goodbye. I'm off to steal your worldly possessions. Yeah, so if you if you look on the on the screen there, it's it is it is they, I think they did a good job kind of obfuscating it. Where you don't look at the map and it's like, that's a bird. But I did look at it and I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. I remember. I remember. And they're bobbling up and down. Uh to the temple. So if all the adults are back and awake, why are the streets still abandoned and sad? Huh? Also, we replaced your statue with a pool of water. Hope no one falls into it. Anyone seen that kid? Nope. 2014. Grand's awake again. I'm so happy I could dance, but I won't. I consider myself a very grounded lady. Good work. You must be the heroes that saved our city. An absolutely golden performance, Douglas. Though I must confess, it was a bit of a rude awakening, and I was having such a pleasant dream. What matters is that you're all safe and sound. By the way, I believe you wish to see us about egg. Give egg. Want egg? Really? Now what was that? Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Now we as a people have endeavored to protect the secrets of the Phoenix for generations. We've been waiting all this time to share these secrets with the right people. You see, a part of the legend goes like this. And lo, when the celestial messenger descends, return the phoenix egg to her, that she may bring light to the skies anew. I believe that messenger to be you, my dear. Please take the egg. We have all that history behind us, but there really is no time like the present. Egg! At last! All five of the infinity eggs are mine. Now, I can solve puzzles with a snap of my fingers. 
Thank you for egg. Blowing them blinking. Uh, they're, they're, they're not synchronized blinking anymore. If they were before. Egg Dido. Egg Quired. Returning to base. Wonderful. I pray you have a safe journey. They were playing at the same time earlier. You sure they were. Mm-hmm. I am inevitable. She looks like Maz from Force Awakens. A little bit. All's well that ends well, then. I thought I'd seen a lot while traveling with the professor, but this adventure has taught me there's so much more out there to see. All right. Return to the Bastunius. Goodbye. Help! I'm down in the well! Who is that? Can you help me? Time to go back to the Bostonius. Welcome back, sirs and madams. It seems that on a wing and a prayer, you managed to save the city. <laughs> a wing and a prayer. <laughs> Do you get it, sirs? Oh, I've been thinking about that the whole time. The phoenix, you see. Not only that, but we were also able to acquire the egg. Messinia is, as we had suspected, inextricably linked to the Azran. Discovery of the Azran Library could have been a major archaeological find. It's a shame not to expose it to the public. That's enough about public exposure from you, Sycamore. There is a time and a place for everything, Master. Incidentally, when you have decided on a departure time, simply let me know. Eat egg whole. Professor, I think I remember something about this place. Do tell. Even the smallest detail may be significant to us, Aurora. Okay, I'll do my best. I see a, a giant mural. It shows a great firebird riding the wind's currents. Kirun of the everlasting flame. The sky is her playground and death merely slumber. The legend was passed down through the ages by the people of Messinia and will surely be carried on for generations more. Oh, town seems kind of dead to me. It could be said that th uh, through storytelling, her flame burns on everlasting. The legend and the phoenix are one and the same. The treasure really was the friends we made along the way, eh, Professor? A fascinating city. I hope to visit it again someday, but for now we should retire and consider our next course of action. Bring. Bring. He's friends with Sycamore from Pokemon? He's the same character. It's the same guy. Oh god. <laughs> And Granny's like, that was some good shit. I want to go again. <laughs> what are you doing? Granny, no! <laughs> it's fine. It's an Amish Namus. No, it's not. Sure it is. Leave me alone. Yeah, let's save. Okay. Professor Puzzle professed another puzzle. I want to get back on Mr. Mushroom's wild ride. We've collected five egg. Five egg! That should be all of them now. Without your aid, it would never have been possible. But what are we supposed to do with them? Maybe eat all of every egg. Make a big omelet. I believe all that remains is to call upon the power within me and connect with the aura stones. Power? What kind of power? Each time you touched an egg, you were able to bring back a piece of your memory. Is your power perhaps related to that? I believe so. I recall faintly that I have such a power. A power bestowed only upon the messenger of the Azran. With each stone, I feel a part of me that was once locked awaken. Lock a phoenix! Then, if I were to let you touch all five stones at once, is there a possibility that your memories will be fully recovered? Fully restored? She's definitely making all this up. Yeah. Professor, I believe your people advocate a certain rule, and here it is no different. Won't know until we try it! I can't believe it! We're really gonna find out the secrets of the Azran! I think that calling upon the power of the stones will require intense concentration. I'll need you to be really quiet, okay? You got it! I'll be quieter than a pit mouse! The smallest little silent little boy! You won't even know that I'm here! Right, sorry, talking to me. That's alright. In reality, I'm afraid of what we may find. But being here with all of you, I feel safe. In this airship, held together by duct tape. It is the duty of every gentleman to treat his guests with the utmost hospitality. The secrets of the zone, Azrin. Oh, uh, thank you, Professor. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. Professor, I have a feeling what happens next is going to be pretty big. 
Is there anything else we want to do before we ask Aurora to use the power of the Ulra Stones? That is a good point. In fact, may, may, maybe we, we save... Because I think from here on out is is, is endgame. I mean, I, I might be mistaken. Um, this might be, yeah, point no return. I, th I think we'll probably save the rest for Sunday. If that sounds good. I have no idea how much is left. There's a lot left, but I think uh, I think it might be good to, to to do it all in one stream. The secrets of the Azul. But um, there's actually a lot left. Oh shit, isn't there? Finish up one more. Well, I was thinking maybe for us to stream today. Not quite in game. Gotcha. I was thinking I could do some of the optional stuff for a little bit. Six chapters, prologue finale tacked on. And this is the end of chapter four. Thousand Year Door. Yeah, I'd like to. Gotta look into that. Uh, where's the... Layton's Journal. That's not really gonna help us, is it? Nope. Yeah, no. I think we're at the outfits. Yeah, we do a bunch of stuff. Um, don't leave us here. Sorry, but... I... I... I mean, I don't remember exactly. That's why it's tough, but it's like, I, I think there's a lot of game left, but yeah, I don't know. Last puzzle we did, we did puzzle number 85. Picks. The hell does picks mean? I mean, I mean, I know the game itself has like 160 something puzzles, um, but first of all, that includes post game bonus puzzles. So. The secrets of the Azran. Could you do what's left in one stream? That's the question. Right. If anyone does know. There's two beefy locations remaining. Mm-hmm. But I think as long as we don't have any distractions. Lots of cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, everything I remember about this game's plot hasn't happened yet. I think it's all in the end game. There's a bunch of shenanigans. I think yeah. It might end up being a little bit of a longer stream, but hopefully, hopefully I'll start Sunday stream on time. So we don't run crazy late. So probably. Cool. So, uh, if anyone's like, well, then I'm fucking out of here. Have a good one. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do some little optional stuff for a little bit. Um, let's go through these episodes. We've unlocked a bunch of them. Half of them. The Mustunius. When do I ever start on time? I mean, I'm not promising. I'm just, I'm just gonna try. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. There's a lot of plot. Yeah. I'm not even exaggerating. Everything I remember that's like a revelation. I thought it would be spaced out throughout the game. But apparently it's just all dropped on the end. I don't know. Full stream. Nice. So, if you have not seen this game before, buckle up for the next one. Um, all the actual plots in the end. Yeah, it is It is kind of... I mean, it's a MacGuffin hunt for the most... for the bulk of the game. Professor Sycamore must be really rich to afford an airship like this. No, not because I'm the same. Uh, well, he is a world-renowned archaeologist. He probably gets funding from all sorts of institutes. Why doesn't our professor get that kind of treatment? I mean, we've made some amazing discoveries. Oh, there's no shortage of interest in Professor Layton's work. Don't worry. Really? Then why do we have to travel everywhere in a rickety old car? Because he turns down each and every offer. I think he prefers to keep things low-key. Only vaguely know Wahapa. No worries. Look, Luke! Those birds are flying right beside us. I hate how often this game makes me say, Look, Luke. Or Luke, look. Well, they really are. Maybe they think that we're a bird as well. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the scenery, but perhaps it would be best to keep your hands off the windows. We don't want to leave smudges, do we? Smudges? He's just made red streaks of jam across every surface in the fucking airship. Oh, well, I shouldn't worry about that. I plan to clean the Bostonians from top to bottom when we land regardless. Smudge away. You heard it, Professor. Anyway, your tea, sir. Oh, thank you, Raymond. An excellent choice. Earl Grey, piping hot. And what a fragrant blend. Don't it dare insult the latent mobile. I watched the first stream having only watched the first. The last one I only watched the first. Of this game, you'd probably be fine. First, first stream happens, then we got eggs. And then the rest of the plot. The master heard you were something of a connoisseur and selected it for you himself. I doubt even Luke could choose a better blend. We also have a selection of confectionery for those with a sweeter palate. Please do help yourself. So this is what it feels like to live in the lap of luxury. 
We do have quite a voyage ahead of us still. We would like you to be as comfortable as possible during your stay. Wow, what a wonderful little episode. All for Professor Sticky Floor. Luke hasn't trained in team making. Right, that's that's next in the timeline. Or two two more games in the future. Where we run around making tea for people. I wonder's where that Professor Sandy Shore's gone. He's been gone days now, he has. Maybe he got eaten by the terror of the night and the living snowman. They say it's that one outside the cave, you know. Well, okay, I've only gone and set you off again, haven't I? I'm saying it because it's true. Could be a danger to us all, it could. As much danger as that Nordic puma you was blabbering on about before, I reckons. I only hope Professor Simaka doesn't get wind of all this nonsense. He might think I'm as silly as ye are. How did you end up being friends with him anyway? You always get flustered around the fancy city visitors. No, I doesn't. Simakaw's a very unusual name, isn't it? Where would you say he's from? The South Pacific? Oh, no, no, no. I won't have you making up stories about him. He's my friend, and I hope to keep it that way. There they go at each other's throats again. You know, they seem like they're enjoying themselves to me. Sima what now? You gotta be joking. Prima, you're a lovely girl, but if that's your idea of enjoyment, count me out. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying you don't like my company? Now you're just twisting my words! Oh, Frodenborg. Fishy business. Oh, not the fucking fish man. I don't wanna look at the fish man again. No! I don't like looking at the fish man. Today's catch. Is it enough? Enough? This is almost twice what I was expecting. You sure you don't want some for yourself? Keep it. I got a bucket of bream that'll last me till next week. Well, if you're fishing for compliments, I've found hook, line, and sinker. You're the best, Boris. The very best. They're in love. Three trout today, please. Three trout it is. I take it they're for your always yummy special menu. They certainly are. I was thinking I might fry them in a nice lemon sauce today. Splendid, splendid. Now take a gander at these fine fellows. Plump enough for you? Perfect as always, Carpin. Just like yourself. Now I better head back to the cafe to put these specials on the board. Nearly opening time. Fish to meet you. Larissa, pet. Those crab cakes were divine. And that lemon trout. Mmm. Mmm. Did you cook it all yourself? I certainly did. It wasn't the little gremlins in the kitchen, that's for sure. Point taken. You know, it's nice to see someone hard at work and doing the community good. Keep up the fishy dishes. What's with the music? It's just the music for Cod. So it's sad, melancholy. Those are his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, sir, have just earned yourself one scrumptious dessert free of charge. It's just dredge. Yeah. Would that happen to be your uh, fish smoothie? You're out of luck. It takes a long time to prepare the ingredients for the smoothie. How about a caviar souffle instead? Uh, well, that sounds better. Good. I expect to see you lick the plate clean, then. All right. Water, please. Anything to expunge that taste. Whatever is the matter, dear Moosikins, you're terribly pale. Not now, Sonya, please. I've just come from Larissa's. Ah, uh, say no more. Really, why does that woman insist on serving those revolting recipes? Her main fish dishes are so delicious, and yet she insists on giving you those repugnant desserts. Really, if she's trying to join moi as one of Cod's sophisticates, she is going the wrong way about it. <laughs> Love beyond borders. Shadow over Innsmouth. But why? Why would the woman want a divorce now, right after I blew that last case wide open? Cause for celebration, surely? I thought she would be proud. Maybe I should forget about Targent, focus on my home life. Oh. Oh, grass. Oh. My darling Clamp has a wife? Not for long, by the sounds of it. Who are you? Me? I'm the president and sole me I mean, I am a loyal supporter of your cause. Listen, Inspector, I, I have witnessed your bravery and dedication over the years. You are an outstanding officer. I'm sorry your wife doesn't see that, but you can't really mean to stop now. What do you mean? The Clamp Grosky I know would never just stand back and let evil villains roam free. 
he would wrestle them down to the ground. By the hairs on my chest, you're right. This is no time to be moping. I have a vile criminal organization to deal with. I'll make light work of those charging filth. Right, it's settled. Clamp Grosky is off on a world tour for the yard. There he goes. Good luck, my beloved. So this is goodbye. No, it can't end like this. In fact, I outright refuse to let that happen. So what if my love is unrequited? I will go on as before, mere steps behind, protecting him wherever he goes. Perhaps someday the budding flower of love will spring forth from his burly chest. I've always said I would follow you to the ends of the earth, Clamp. Now it's time for me to prove my unyielding devotion. The fire of justice and passion burns in my heart too. Let's do this together, Clamp. For the yard. She's so real for this. I... That could have taken a much worse turn. <laughs> Of uh, Grosky's getting divorced. And now she's like, now's my time to shine. I'm glad they didn't do that, but yeah, that's a homewrecker arc. Chief Inspector Carmichael, we've apprehended the group of thugs that were lying low near the river, sir. He might pop up in America. Yeah, I mean, we didn't see him in any of the original three games, but he's out there somewhere. Good work. Bring them in for questioning, see? They're part of something much bigger. I stake my life on it. Press them for everything they've got. Yes, yes, sir. And if I may add, we're delighted to have you on this case, sir, with your American mobster accent. I don't know what we'd do without you. But, well, I'm just doing my duty, Constable. My duty to flush out crime from every one of this city's dark corners, eh? I'll tell you who else we couldn't do without. G.I. Broom. Now there's what I call a talented detective, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, all right. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. I'll get back to my post. His sideburns are upsetting. Well, he's got, he's got like a, a side stash that doesn't quite meet. It's like, it's like his hair is trying to grab his face as a crane game would. It's, it's like a UFO cat. Everyone's talking about that upstart bloom, but there's something not right with them. His record's too clean, too flawless. There's no cop alive who's not a little dirty. Perhaps it's time to get him involved in the Tarjan case. See if he's hiding something. If he turns out to be as bent as I think he is, my position as top dog at Scotland Yard will be safe until retirement. He's wearing a face hugger, hugger backwards. Good evening, Chief Inspector. Ah, good evening, Bloom. Are you looking for something, sir? It's unusual to see someone of your rank browsing the archives. I could say the very same thing to you. You've been down in the archives every day this week. Still, you've sometimes got to take a hands-on approach with these things, I suppose. I couldn't agree more. You know, some people simply dismiss me as a young upstart. I'm hoping my diligence will prove them wrong. Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. Yes. It's a hair contour. I like his little hat. He's got a little hat. That insolent little. Still, this would be the ideal time to take advantage of his arrogance. Before long, all this will be resolved. Bloom, Targent, everything. So is this them trying to pitch Scotland Yard as not being incompetent and letting Targent operatives invade their ranks? He's like, ah, th I don't like him, so I'm testing him or something. Good news, DCI Carmichael, sir. I finally tickled a confession out of that Targent spy. No one can withstand my chest hair. Excellent, what, what, did, you, what did you? I knew you could pull it off. I do believe you'll be looking at a promotion in the not too distant future. And I'll be promoted to detective superintendent myself. That's excellent news, sir. This is only the beginning though. We have to make sure targents are eradicated for good. Leave it to me, chief inspector. Plus, you know the better. Yeah, I don't. That's gotta be breaking a handful of them Geneva conventions. Flora? Flora. Well, this is a bit of a shock. Never said anything in my contract about coming home again. I better make sure none of the locals spot me. My man's is a mushroom muppet. It's Auntie M. Doody doody doo. There's nothing like a truffle hunt first thing in the morning. Hello, what's that funny outfit you're wearing? Isn't that last year's style? Oh, is it? How embarrassing. Well, listen, I'm a busy man, so I'll just be moving along now. Hang on, I know you. No, you don't. You really don't. 
Oh, yes, I do. You're Chaz's eldest son, Porcini. I always thought you'd run away for good. All right, all right. Keep it down, auntie. Yeah, nothing gets past me. What's going on then? You go on. You can tell me. I promise I won't say a word to your mom. Well, I've got a job, but it's a pretty tough one. My boss wants some sort of blue egg with a kind of swirly pattern on it. Well, that's strictly confidential. I'm not even supposed to be saying it out loud. It sounds like he's after a cerulean babbler's egg. There's a clutch of them down by the waterfall if you're interested. Really? That's brilliant. Thanks, auntie. The boss is going to be really pleased with me when I go back with it. Listen, I can see you got a lot on your plate, Porchy. So you just let me know if I can eat any of it, all right? Porchy, I don't answer that name anymore. My name's Plover. So it's true what they say about leaving the village and coming back as a different person. Maybe it's time I took a little trip myself. Oh. Muppet. Meep, meep. Fair winds and fresh cakes. Fair winds and fresh cakes forever. Hola again, Martin. Tell me, is Papano cake with ice cream a winning combination like I thought it would be? Oui, it really is. Papano cake has never been so refreshing. I just worry that I'm overdoing it, you know. Oh, don't worry about that. If it's tasty and it cools you down, that's all that really matters, isn't it? And hey, if I make some good sales, that's a real bonus. Hola, chicas. Fantastic weather today, no? When exactly is it not fantastic weather, Javier? Actually, Javier, you came at a good time. I've got a batch of brand new cake ideas ready for taste testing. Help yourself to as many as you like. Great, I've got quite the appetite after my mid-afternoon workout. Now, just so you know, Martin finished the last of the coconut ones, so I've only got starfish flavor left. Starfish? See, si, starfish. I'm working my way through all the local ingredients, trying to find a new taste sensation. I thought your papano cakes were supposed to be traditional. They are. The papano cakes unleashed recipe book clearly states that any local ingredients is fair game. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, this isn't bad. Well, they do say Sangrio gets enough sun to turn the sea salt into sea sugar. Oh, come on. There's no way that could be true. I heard it was the sand that turned into sugar. Anyway, thanks for your feedback, guys. Always a pleasure, mon ami. Of all the countries I visited, there is really nowhere I'd rather be than here in San Grillo. That's the power of the Harmony Ring. I've been wondering, Martin, what made you start traveling in the first place? Well, once upon a time, I lived a quiet life in a peaceful neighborhood. But then tragedy struck. I was accused of a crime most terrible. But does this mean you're running from the police? What was the crime? They said I was too gaudy, too garish. Allures, it was a crime of fashion. And I killed a man. Oh, you joker, Martin. You were just kidding, right? Non. C'est vrai. And they shall never catch me again. That's a real crime in France. Old Reds and Old Softy. She was slaying. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. Now what are you scrunching your face up like a prune for? You don't got to go impersonating me, chucklehead. Howdy there, Ruby. I'm dreadfully sorry, but there's been something nagging at me that I gotta get off my chest. See us being smack in the middle of these here deadlands, we get plenty of critters feeling wolfish, right? But ever since old Red started with his visits, we ain't had a single varmin try to scrounge off of us. Not one. Quit your dilly darling, and speak your mind, Sheriff Flint. I'm getting to that, ma'am. Now don't you rush me. Anyhow, it got me thinking, how come old Red got himself settled down in that there mine and not nearby Torito? I reckon this whole time he's probably been fending those nasty critters away from our town. And if that's true, then it makes me sick to the pit of my stomach to think that I treated him so bad. Balderdash, you've been protecting the people just as much as he has. He ain't got even half a reason to be filled in guilty. And besides, what use is all that belly aching for? I don't like the way she just rotated 90 degrees to face him. Like, it's, I thought it was implied with the way they're at, like, a three-quarters perspective that they were talking to each other. And then she just abruptly turns to face him. Shoo, shoo. What's done is done. You want to make it up to him? You go make it up. I guess you're right. Time for me to be making amends. She means business. It's my turn to feed Old Red today, Mr. Derringer. But I picked the choicest meats money can buy. And you think I didn't? Here you go, old boy. <laughs> Looks like Old Red wants us to stop arguing, Mr. Derringer. How in the world do you know what he's thinking? 
Oh, I guess we've just got a connection. I am my grandma's granddaughter after all. Old Red loves this town and all the folks in it. And if we look after him, he'll just keep us all safe. Ain't that right, boy? Rain. Did he just say rain? Rain. Okay. Romancing Romilda. Large Bubby. They've been staring in the middle distance this whole time. Oh, that's what it implies to me. It's like they're actually just really bad at making eye contact while they're talking. Thine eyes, Romilda, they'd melt any hearts. What can I do to make you mine alone? What are you talking about? Julian, you know we're engaged, right? I could confess my love a thousand times and then twice more, but it would not suffice. Love you too, Jules. Tis verily scant wonder I should fall for one so sweet, so pure, so wonderful. All right, all right. Ah, young love. Really, there's such an embarrassment. How does she even put up with all that lovey-dovey nonsense? Now, Beatrix, let's not jealousy cloud your judgment. Those two have my blessing and that of the Dragon Lord. I'm surprised you're brave enough to say that name and put those robes on again after everything that's happened. The Dragon Lord's wrath has subsided, but life goes on. My role remains unchanged. Bringing couples such as Julian and Romilda together in matrimony is both my greatest pleasure and my repentance. Well, there's no denying that they're made for each other. In recent days, I too have longed to be bound to another. You want to get married, Sage Shepherd? Well, do you have someone in mind? I will, but no one from Hoogland, of course. Ew, icky, gross. Well, okay, well. Well, sure. Messinia Reborn. It is my duty. Mom, please tell me you're not going to eat that weird thing that's sitting on our potato bin. Oh, that thing I found it while I was out picking herbs. Isn't it a lovely blue color? You shouldn't touch things like that, Mom. How do you know it's not poisonous? Well, there's just no way to know until I try it. There's just no way to know. Maybe you could try not eating it. Oh, Umi, you still a lot to learn. The people of old would forage for rare delicacies all the time. But you have to be careful. Look at Tamir's dad. He's really fussy about the food he eats. Daddy, I'm scared. Come on now, son. Are those the words of a man of Messinia? Did they make an entire fucking model of a modern major gentleman? A, a model of a guy that only shows up in the episode? He was not in town, but it's really scary. Now, now, it's our job to guard the town from evildoers. We can't just go and cower behind a tree, can we? Yep, damn. After all, someday you have to tell the legend of the Phoenix to future generations. You can't do that if you're scared. But daddy, I want to go home and do puzzles. Harumph, you're going to have to grow up one day. But today, come on, let's report to the keeper and tell her all is well. Great, my tummy's rumbling. Is it time for dinner? What's mommy making today? Can you show me a puzzle, can we? Now, Mary, look closely. The Dormus Saporus mushrooms have a slightly mottled texture, whereas ordinary mushrooms don't. Why do I need to know this, Gran? Could I just not pick mushrooms at all? Oh, mushroom picking is one of the most vital skills you'll learn. It's all part of the Mycenaean spirit of adventure. This doesn't feel like adventure to me. Can't make out the difference at all. I know it's hard, but persevere and you'll see us. You'll soon learn all about the Phoenix of Messinia. Okay, good. Great. Okay. Right. okay. Um, what's up in the World Times? Oh. The World Times scrapbook contains reports of curious incidents and happenings from all over the world. Might be a little empty to begin with, but Daria will send you new articles as you progress in the story. Visit the locations mentioned in the articles and you may happen upon some unbelievable discoveries. You may get to visit places you've never been even find some new puzzles. But you should have checked the World Times on a regular basis. That's a cute idea. Especially in a game like, like this one where you can have a lot of environments to check out. Chippy draws huge crowds. Local fish and chip shop in London has reached unprecedented popularity. The daily queues are selling. They require police supervision. Oh, I gotta... I'm gonna plug in my DS so it doesn't die. Snowman seen dancing at night. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. 
Rumors of a snowman that moves during the night are spreading through Formborg. One lady even claims to have seen it flamenco dancing. That's my chippy. A prehistoric visitor. There have been a number of reports, si recent sightings of a long-necked monster in Lake Cod. The locals have taken to calling Cod the... Bird song saved my life. An explorer went missing in the jungle has been found alive and well. Apparently, it was able to follow an unusual bird call to a hidden village. Mushrooms on the move. A huge new mushroom has been discovered in the jungle. Oddly, it seems that this fungus can move rather rapidly and has no desire to be caught. It's probably just a guy. Murals are the new mosaics. Breaking news. A museum exhibit of murals from all over the world is proving to be a roaring success. Many people have been inspired to try their hand at wall art. Aircraft lured to their doom. Lucia, brother. Lake Cod has seen a string of aircraft crashes of late, and the police are grateful to the efforts of one local resident for her rescue activities. Restaurant tour revels in accolade. Sangrio has been chosen as one of the world's best resorts. A local restaurant tour welcomed the news, looking forward to the custom it will bring. Keep an eye on your room keys. Tourists are warned to be vigilant as room key theft rises in Sangrio. One victim says, I was so enthralled by that hotel fish tank, I never knew they were gone. Darkness falls on Lakeside Town. A widespread power outage takes Cod's residents by surprise. According to one woman, you need something huge to knock out our grid. A bright future for archaeology. A new archaeological analysis device has been installed at London's Gresson Hellard University. The staff have responded warmly and enthusiastically. Sounds like they don't care. Vet asked to deal with Wild Wolf. A vet doing rounds in Torito passed out and had to be taken to the hospital. Only used to uh, small pets, the sight of a wolf was too much. Shots rang out in Torito. An unlikely newcomer beat Torito's former sharpshooting champ and claimed first prize at the annual contest. Winner available for, for autographs. Cold comfort for unlucky skater. A scare in Fronborg has a young skater, as a young skater, fell into an icy pond. His jumps were just too high, one rueful onlooker remarked. He's dead now. A bumper feast for Hoogland. A Hoogland baker made an inconceivable amount of bread for the Harvest Festival. Making sure none went to waste was certainly a challenge. Mint sauce at the ready. The lamb ham packing season is a busy time in Hoogland with people coming from all around the world to sample its meaty delights at the source. Yeti becomes cafe regular. Fraunborg police received reports of a Yeti storming a local restaurant. By the time they arrived, however, there was nothing to see but leftover stew. Crazy townspeople sacrifice women. That's like bottom of page six. That's not news. Insomnia and Mycenae. It seems that a growing number of adults in Mycenae are unable to sleep. What do you expect? I've just spent a whole week asleep, said one lady. Firebird in demand. A pair of poachers were apprehended by a lone man. Sadly, the two later escaped police custody, yelling something about a phoenix as they ran. We really like the headline art. It's showing up on the left there. Uh, Londoners take to the skies. A hangar in London offering trial flights is enjoying a run of success. Passengers and onlookers alike find the performances highly entertaining. <laughs> Dress up. Um. Yeah, I'm still missing the thing, right? I don't have the hat. They need something cute. That's pretty cute. Uh, what don't you say? Here it is! It's definitely cute! You don't entirely, entirely satisfied. Kitty ears, right. I might look better with a nice handbag? We'll take that into consideration. Wait, what? Not bad. The last one you can finish? That's rude. Do I have a handbag? Mmm, no. Okay. What about you? Sonya, Accessorize? Come on. When I heard you were creating outfits, I knew I had to be first in line. Really? What kind of outfit are you looking for? Well, I'd like to go try something trendy. Still ladylike. Be sure not to use any pink. Such a vulgar color. You want something modern yet elegant. We could include a skirt with a delicate hue. How does that sound? Tee hee hoo hoo. That sounds splendid. Don't make it too plain, though. True ladies are not afraid, afraid to stand out. Let's see what we can do. I'm counting on you. Tee hee hee hoo. Trendy four stars or more nothing pink. Uh, 
Okay. Can I dress her up like Joestar? Um. Uh. Eh. And, um. Uh. Eh. Meh. That's pretty trendy. Oh, yeah. That's some fashion. Tee hoo hoo. You finished my outfit? I better make sure it's up to my standards then. All right, here it is. This is. It's not terrible. It certainly seems to be what they call trendy. Please, if it's not right for you, do let us know. Well, if you insist, it's the shoes. And I feel like this needs shoes fit for a special occasion, if you ask me. Uh, don't change too much. Just need a little tweak. Huh? Wait. Special occasion shoes. Special occasion shoes. Well, that was easy. I even picked those at first, but I was like, I don't know, maybe blue is good. You finished my outfit. Here it is. This is simply divine. Exactly the kind of thing I was hoping for. You really like it? I absolutely love it. It's modern yet refined. I can't think of a single thing to complain about. Would you care to try it on? I would indeed. There's no better way to judge how an outfit will look. Oh man, fashion. What do you think? Is it too much? Yes. Not at all, I think it really suits you. I agree, it does. You look most elegant. Tee-hee-hoo. Perfect poise and manners ensure you always look good. Still, it's nice to find something that suits me. I'm gonna wear this with pride. Much obliged. Tee-hee-hee-hee-hoo. Fabulous. Yakuza cabaret game vibes. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, well... We did one. Um... Try one of these. We'll do another nutty roller, why not? Get a rolling. Um. Um. Gotta get the. Gotta get the nut. Eh. And then. And then you. Wait! That's wrong! Okay, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do this first to fill in the hole, and then no, that's right. I think roll, but ro roll, and then knock it. Th uh, um, th this one. And then, um, we gotta, we gotta, because there's another hole past the thing. Wait, will this work? I mean, we can find out. Because I'll knock it, but then I can knock it again. Uno mas. That's a very good walk cycle on the left there. Anyway. Pulling bridges is done. Rad. Try another boom burst though. Um. Lily Lake. Gravestone Grove! Oh god. Alright. Gotta get the trees to bloom. Uh. And then. Um. Meh. Me. And then, um. Uh, that's going out to there. Maybe that. Maybe that. Yeah. Uh. Maybe, maybe, maybe another one. And then. And then that. And then that. Boom! That one doesn't reach. Um. Just one more. Oh, that also doesn't reach. Uh, that goes out to there. Could just do that. And just, just throw a bunch in there. There you go. Brute force it. Good. 
Yeah, all right. That might be enough of that. I don't think I'm gonna do all of them, but they're cute. They're fine. What are we doing here? Yeah, a bunch of random shit. Cool. Well, that was a fun little diversion. A perfect one. I don't have the brain cells for that. Of doing every single uh, thing. Every tile grass. Um, Jolly Rogers, thanks for 45 months. It's a lot. Poking into resub, have a good night chat. Wire, thanks for 38. Loaf of bread, thanks for 55. Thank you for the primes. Smash Bread, thanks for 100 bits. We end game territory yet. Been watching old latent VODs. Something I've come to appreciate about the series is how the actual explanation of each of the mysteries is somewhat even more ridiculously implausible than the original seemingly supernatural explanations. Fun stuff. Yeah. Trevor Obtuse, thanks for 33 months. And Lockhearted, thank you again for 64 months. That was a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, we're gonna call it here. But we we will dive off the deep end on Sunday. So, um, for those that stuck around to watch me do a little bit of bonus stuff, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go find someone to raid. It is Friday night. Um, a lot of egg. Did a hundred percent playthrough without using a guide. That was the only way I played this game. Oh yeah, I've definitely used, um, definitely used guides to get to a hundred percent. Because I, oftentimes I'd be like, I want, I don't care about doing literally everything, but I want to have done every puzzle, even if I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of people streaming. It is Friday night. Um, but I thought we'd raid Gam because I don't, I don't often get to raid Gam. So we're gonna do that. Um, but yeah, I hope you hope you tune in Sunday if you if you can, or otherwise check out the VOD because up until this point, this game's been like pretty straightforward. And I don't think that's going to remain the case for very long on Sunday. I'm sorry to kind of stop it here. Just, it, it seems like this is the point of no return. And it's not like there's, it seems like, as people are saying, there's a good chunk of stuff left. But this is all the shenanigans. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it won't last. No, mm -hmm. I know. Other than the one million years thing. Yeah, it's been pretty grounded for the most part. Ancient civilization stuff, going around solving mysteries. Nothing has been classic Layton, what the fuck is going on? Why am I mad and also sobbing? So, Sunday maybe finale hype. Yeah, abandon all reason. Uh, what is our our raid message for Gam? Ew, Gam, who'd ever sub him get those wonderful emotes? Yeah, he's great. Lab B, room B, don't tap books in there. Got it. You might have to remind me on Sunday if you're around, but I'll try to remember that. Uh, Egg. Egg Quired. Give him some Egg Quired. Uh, oh yeah, Gam, Gam does have Toad Bless. Gam's got a bunch of BTTV. What's a, what's a good, what's a good one he's got? Um, trying to see if there's anything that's related. Could him with a Toad Bup. No text, just Toad Bup. Wait, Raid's going goodbye. <laughs> Always wait too long. The fear that, thanks for watching, VOD Watchers. Uh, apologies again for the muted chunks in the part one of the lane VOD. I don't know. My bad. Um, I'll try to be better about that. And try to do more local recordings when I can. Thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the egg hunt. And I hope you're excited for the final part. Probably, hopefully. Hopefully I finish it all in one go. Alright. Thanks. Be well. Goodbye. Go do a puzzle. Later. <laughs>